A CCTV gym camera captures a slow-moving white object at 6 in the morning. The strange shape appears to float in mid-air and even slightly changes form at times. Paranormal or not, experts have been ultimately unable to determine the source of this fluttering figure. I guess it might be a piece of lint or something that got stuck on the lens of the camera, but the way it slowly sways without going anywhere makes me think that this really could be a classic haunting. Jeff Wesley is a paramedic whose YouTube channel gives us a glimpse into the frantic lives of emergency medical service technicians everywhere. Today, he must drive an ambulance full speed into the heavy rains, making his job more difficult than usual. The roads are slick and the driver visibility is very low. Every intersection is a serious gamble. Sometimes the roadways grow narrow and give cars a little difficulty pulling over. At one point, some local wildlife even veers into the ambulance's path at the last minute. Oh, come on, Doc. Jesus. <laughs> I missed it! I didn't hit it! <laughs> Despite all of this, Jeff Wesley gets to the scene quickly and is able to provide help. I just want to give a shout out to Jeff Wesley and all of the other EMS workers like him for their courage and service, as this video clearly demonstrates. A YouTuber named Philip DeFranco is busy analyzing the news for his channel when somebody barges into his home office unannounced. Come in. Hi. Oh, are you looking for a. Uh... Who are you looking for? Anyone? Anyone? The unseen voice calmly says that they are basically looking for anyone related to the show to talk to. What's that? Oh wait, can you open? Oh, oh I'm, I'm a fan. <laughs> Philip DeFranco handles the situation remarkably well and does not overreact. The fan appears shy and not much of a threat. The fact that he was willing to look up his address and then wander over could mean that he's not all there mentally. Based on what you've seen, tell me if you think this fan was generally curious or up to no good. Maybe he was snooping around for a souvenir to take and got caught. First, let me give a fair warning to headphone users that this next clip is kind of loud. A YouTuber named Sapphire Rose says that her toy bird has been doing really weird things as of late. Most of the time it plays cheerful, pre-recorded bird noises like it's supposed to, but occasionally it will sound like this. Oh my god! Why is he doing this? Sapphire Rose also says that the bird will sometimes make an even louder shriek that sounds like it came straight from the underworld, but she didn't manage to record it that day. Some people left her a comment saying that her toy simply needs new batteries, but if that were the case, then I can't help but wonder why it sometimes sounds completely normal and other times like it's completely possessed. This entry is a poltergeist three-parter. The first clip was published by Adam in November of 2021. It shows a cabinet with a mind of its own. One of the drawers opens repeatedly, slamming closed each time. Next, an object falls from above, knocking a picture frame and another object to the floor. But these poltergeists are just getting started. In the second clip, published in October of 2021 by Weird in the Bizarro News, a soda can on the counter moves ever so slightly. It later slides across the counter and twirls all the way down. Then it begins to jump up and down. Another creepy clip shows a computer lab with a couple of office chairs acting on their own. They wheel around the lab, twirling and then really launching across the floor. If these clips weren't caught on camera, would you believe they happened? This video evidence seems to prove that no matter how much we think we know, we do not know everything. Flickering lights are one thing. Thing, but a switch visibly turning off of its own accord? That's a whole other story. Posted to the paranormal subreddit by Nutzack, the redditor writes about this unexplained encounter that his brother caught on camera. According to Nutzack, his brother was home alone, likely checking on his family's dog Oscar, when suddenly the hallway lights started doing their own thing. He recorded the incident as it continued, and this is what he captured. Nutzack states that he lived in the house for two years and has always felt strange vibes, but never seen anything firsthand. 
comments, he writes, Now after watching the video countless times, I am stumped and believe there is something beyond our knowledge happening here. Two switches control this hallway light. Both you can see in the video. One is right next to the guy and the other is at the end of the hallway on the left. According to Nutsack, you can see the light switch nearby turn about halfway down, which as the Redditor writes would be impossible to recreate. Next it flicks off entirely, turning the hallway light off. This one you can see as clear as day. Some are all in with the paranormal theory, but there's always a skeptic among us. And this time it's Slick Air who states, A combination of loose wiring and a faulty switch can cause this. Others in the thread suggest not even faulty switches can flip off of their own accord. What do you choose to believe? This clip is making waves in the Spanish YouTube community, and it's clear to see why. This associated image was posted in July of 2020 by YouTuber Curious Area, and at first, this footage seems like nothing more than your average nighttime drive. Spooky lights, empty streets, no one around. That is, until this creepy oblong figure emerges standing on the side of the road. As the car drives slowly past, the figure doesn't move from near the crosswalk. You can't make out its face or any details of its visage, but it does appear to be wearing a long robe. Would this get your heart pumping, or are your nerves made of steel? At the Devil's Gate Dam, Kelsey Davies and her crew communicated with the ghost of a twisted individual who took many lives. As soon as they set up their devices, they start to get a reading. Then shortly after, they come into contact with Val. Are you here with us? Can you cross the dowsing rods if you're here? They ask if she's near. Later, they come across a lot of strange debris. Is that a wallet? What? What is all this? Someone's backpack? They're calm? Oh no, this is a lunchbox. Does this stuff belong to those who lost their lives at the hands of Val? They return late at night and confirm Val's presence. Val, is that you? and they are given a warning. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Right, it said leave. You said welcome to That flashed and it said leave, Joey. I have the chill. I may be old school, but if the ghost of a life taker tells you to leave, I really think you should listen. What a great Claims of the Chinese Guanyin statue blinking inside of the Linquin Temple are apparently real if you believe this video. Sometimes this blinking effect happens from shaking the camera, but at 42 seconds the phone is still and the statue still does it. <laughs> I also hear temple bells, so this could have taken place during a ceremony. However, I'm pretty sure that this blinking is from a grainy video. The background looks to be moving in a similar way to... A solid stream of worm-like invaders moves in unison across the forest floor, while a dog whines with fear. Listen to the noises their dog makes, and try to tell me it's not warning them to get far away. There's got to be some kind of logical explanation in nature for this, but it sure looks like the start of a parasitic invasion to me. And when another canine joins in, I can't help but suspect this group has discovered something they'll soon wish they had never come across. Obviously, the animals are on guard, but from what exactly is my question?
If the backstory to this video is real, then none of the friends you are looking at here are still alive. Their families gave police permission to release this video in hopes of solving what happened to them. At some point during their final car ride together, they go through a lonesome old tunnel in the middle of a private country road. They don't think much of it until they come across the same tunnel again, and then a third time. They are driving in a straight line and not a circle. Yet this creepy location keeps greeting them as if they never left. It only gets worse when the engine stops working. If you think this video is fake, then please take a moment and tell me how they were able to make it look like their car breaks down. Just, just over here. I don't want to sit. Oh, anyway, not too long after their car stops working, a song skips on the radio and this figure heads straight their way. <laughs> And when the car works, they go to reverse. You can see the figure immediately appears behind them in return. I think this last part looks like it could be an amateur horror movie, to be honest, but tell me if this part is editing or not, and then we'll know the real truth. In 2019, an allegedly real supernatural creature sighting video emerged from Sindh, Pakistan. According to villagers, this bizarre humanoid was caught entering houses and attempting to devour them. They all formed a group to chase it with sticks down the street into the night. While dodging blows at exactly 7 seconds, the creature looks to reveal a furry face with all red eyes. However, I think this looks like a mask worn by somebody pretending to be a monster. Maybe the villagers were making a fake video, or maybe in their mass panic they were really fooled into believing this monster existed. I'll keep an eye out for similar sightings around Pakistan, but I don't think I'll find many like this one because, well, it probably isn't real. If I'm wrong though, and plenty of people people who've seen this video think that I am, then this creature sighting would be absolutely horrifying to have caught on camera. I wish they had a longer recording of the incident. Who's sitting in this chair? YouTuber Mods Gaming captured a ghost of rockin' on camera. Watch the rocking chair. I think the chair rocks too purposefully and for too long to have been knocked before starting to record. I also don't see any fishing line or something else that could debunk this. It looks to me like someone is sitting in the chair, actively rocking it back and forth. My guess is it's grandma. Come back to visit. Leaked video comes from the Kalovsky airport in Russia. One of the planes loses all stability and wobbles unsteadily, trying its best to navigate a safe path through heavy air currents. The pilot continues to wrestle with the controls, which are becoming more unstable by the minute, and I think I see a small fire under the wheel. If he misses the runway here, there's no circling around for a second chance. The wings dip unevenly as the plane disappears behind the tree line. No one can see what is happening and they listen for the worst. A short while later, the plane miraculously emerges from behind the trees and touches down. The passengers get to live another day. Num a YouTuber named Sonia Said is making a vlog about life in general when she decides to take a rest in the park on a nice Sunday. Big mistake. I have some guy staring at me in front of me. He's been like holding the tree. Notice how he lines himself perfectly out of her sight. He could come from behind and she wouldn't be able to see it coming. What are you doing? You guys are about to see him right now. So he is definitely facing her way when she decides that she's had enough. And now we get up and go. He's still facing her direction long after she goes, arms innocently behind his back like nothing's wrong. So creepy. People are so creepy. Now, if this stranger's behavior doesn't make you say bruh, I don't know what will. A YouTuber named D Edge detects strange activity in his hallway after leaving his PS4 camera on record. This small figure appears no less than two times. 
Despite the apartment being empty, at least according to the uploader, 20 seconds later, the figure makes its second entrance, hanging around the top of the doorway each time before disappearing into the darkness. I was thinking that maybe this was light coming from the window across the room, but the angle doesn't exactly match up. Something is definitely there, but let me know what you think it could be. Matt Maniachi lives near an airport with flight restrictions and heard that something weird and possibly bad happens to anyone who tries to fly a drone in. He isn't sure if it's true or not, so he decides to go right up to the no flight zone marker on his GPS and powers on his drone. The only thing left to do now is violate federal aviation regulations and see what happens. I was half expecting Homeland Security to come out in a van, or maybe even for his drone to randomly stop working. But instead, in his words, this goes kind of sideways. <laughs> he presses forward, but the drone refuses to budge. Something is holding it back without damaging it, and I want to know how. Is this a low level electromagnetic frequency jammer device? If not, how do you think it's being done? I'm glad he didn't get in trouble, because it's probably not a good idea to post a video potentially violating any laws, or maybe this is legal to begin with. Tell me if you think it is or not. A drone over the water sees a boat and randomly decides to follow it to see what happens. He awkwardly follows them for over two minutes while they point at him and seem pretty confused as to why they're being followed. There's nothing for them to do except wait for him to stop recording them and go find something else to do. I guess it's not really against the law because there's no expectation of privacy in public, but it's still kind of a weird thing to do considering people are in their bathing suits and did not agree to do this. It's also somewhat of a boating hazard too, because the person steering has to be distracted. Let me know what you think about this video, and if you think he's violating any laws. If not, should the laws be stricter to prevent this kind of recording? I guess they're all fully aware the drone is there, but I could also see why people would be stressed out if it happened to them. A man claims to have been followed for over a year by strange drones. Today's August 8th, Friday, August 8th, 2019. It's been hovering there, it's just, it's just there. Ordinarily, I'd have trouble believing such a claim, but he has had lots of weird evidence that makes me wonder what's really going on. This is what they look like to the human eye. Three different lights that look mysterious. This still image captures all three of them at once. The first two look the same size, but the third one looks smaller, farther away. If you've ever seen lights like this around your house, tell me what you think they are. The way they change colors is disorienting and odd. I thought maybe this was special effects, but at one minute he shows this is completely normal video. The lights look similar in each video, like a fingerprint every time he zooms in. And there are way too many videos like this one on his channel for him to fake. So what do you think is going on here? Is he being watched? Or is this all somehow in his mind? But yeah, this is earlier today and I'll go to another video where it's darker. Mike Mance returns to Clinton Road, determined to catch something scary on drone at night. He and his friend are less worried about clowns and more interested in seeing if a phantom truck really does disappear at the end of Clinton Road. Like the legends say, it isn't long until a truck, phantom or not, passes by them and they try to follow it from above. Everything is going well until suddenly they lose sight of the truck, almost like it disappears, and the drone remains frozen in midair where the truck was last seen. Here, here. Use your phone, yeah, yeah. Show my hand, look. This okay. is full throttle forward and, and then show the drone, watch. I'm full throttle. Look. Show my hand, show my hand. Bro, it's stop, stop, stop. Look, it's going bro. back, look, look, it's going back. It's going backwards. Oh my see, god. It suddenly takes off on its own, and they find it stuck in a tree. But here's the weirdest part. While it's up there, it starts flashing red for no reason, much like the brake lights of a truck. What do you think about this? Is this proof that the legends are true? And it's blinking red too. 
A drone user takes matters into his own hands to break up a noisy party late at night with some roaming candles by the looks of it. The partygoers all scatter and flee as the drone launches low-powered roaming candles directly at them and their cars. Roman candles don't really do a lot of damage on impact, but what happens if someone took one to the eye? Which has a pretty good chance of happening considering everyone is looking straight up. There's also a power line nearby that gets hit at 18 seconds, fortunately the pole and not any of the wires, before the next one goes straight into a tree, so this probably really wasn't a good idea. A YouTuber named Gothboy Prince is playing with a Ouija board that refuses to cooperate with the camera. Apparently, the pointer moves on its own, but only when he's not recording. Hello? Knocking on the Ouija board isn't the only way he shows disrespect. He tries to badmouth the spirit into moving the pointer on camera for proof. I think you're a coward. That's what I think it is. I think you're nothing but a coward. Less than 10 seconds later, he gets a silent reply. It's moving. At one point, Gothboy Prince hears a noise and looks up. You can see that he's sitting in bed with the Ouija board on his lap. There's absolutely no room for anyone to be controlling the pointer with a magnet from underneath, so that explanation is out. You can also see that he is alone and no one is in front of him pulling a string. As if all of this weren't already bizarre enough. You see this? The pointer moves too frequently and in too many different directions to be done with a string, which by the way would be clearly visible from this close of a distance away. Even paranormal skeptics can't explain how this pointer was able to move with no one nearby. But if you think you can, I would really like to hear the real reason. Exploring with Darknet is a YouTube channel dedicated to recording abandoned locations in all of their various forms. This time the group finds themselves inside of a large building that looks to have once been a manufacturing plant of some sort. While checking out various pieces of rusted machinery, they can't shake the feeling that they are being watched. Distant phantom lights follow them and snuff out randomly. On the second floor, they come across a room that appears to be strewn with heaps of garbage and adult diapers. At one point, they come across another room containing more trash and a woman's right shoe. The left one is nowhere to be found, so perhaps there was a struggle here. If you can translate the writing on this wall, please let me know what it says and also what language it is in. It might give us some clues as to exactly what happened here and maybe even make some sense out of what happens next. They then come across a final room on the second floor with a dirty curtain draped across the doorway. They take a peek underneath and are greeted with a final scare. Listen closely again and you can hear someone screaming behind them as they pursue. Their wails echoing off thin corridor walls. A YouTuber named Matthew Van Hues is enjoying nature when he hears a loud voice of someone who apparently isn't. Listen to this part and tell me if you can literally hear the word help being said because I think I can. The sound quiets down and then switches over to something far less human. Skeptics think that this is some kind of wild animal, but I think I can hear English being spoken here, but I can't tell what. Maybe the words don't take me. Let me know what you hear. When he gets to the bottom off the cliff, nothing is there. Matthew waits for an hour and doesn't hear anything else, so he leaves whatever it was to take their final breaths. This CCTV video captures some strange activity after hours, beginning with the pages of this magazine that move all on their own, almost like someone is flipping them just like any other day in the waiting room. 
You probably thought this was the work of a ghost and I did too, but if so, then you and I are both wrong. In the center of the room forms a swirling tornado. Look at how the chairs move at exactly one minute. The ones in the eye of the storm are safe for a little bit longer. This is definitely a tornado and not the work of a spirit. But how does a tornado seemingly form in the middle of a room? Maybe this is a poltergeist destroying the whole building after all. A camera pans across a white room filled with antique furniture and creepy collectibles, which is already bad enough, but when it stops at a tall old mirror, they seem surprised to find a childlike silhouette filling out the frame. As they are studying the child in their shaky gaze, a pair of identical orbs float above her head as two pinpoints of light become barely visible, almost like she is turning her head slightly. I guess this shadow child could simply be a large doll. However, even if this was the case, as far as I'm aware, only the eyes of the living can reflect light like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but a lifeless doll should never have glowing eyes. The person recording sees the eyes and tears up the steps in a hurry. They would later refer to the event only as the girl with sparkling eyes in the dark. Sometimes evil energy sticks around a place long after bad things have happened there. This is one of those cases. YouTuber Brittany Crabb posted this video in June of 2014 writing, Exploring a scary haunted bridge that is haunted by a boy named Douglas riding a bike and a creepy man. So scary. Brittany says in the video that she's in the woods near her house, looking for an old bridge near which a young boy had his life taken. According to Brittany, the boy was riding his bike and the man was standing near the bridge and offered him candy. But when the boy approached, the man took his life and shoved him in the ponds beneath the bridge. People who visit this bridge feel a bad energy there and they believe it's haunted by the boy Douglas. According to legend, you can hear the bicycle bell as he crosses the bridge. When she finally arrives at the bridge, she stands in the middle, feeling the creepy vibes everyone talks about, and as she's standing there, disturbed, the bicycle bell sounds, fleeing the scene. I think I just heard the bike. She claims she just saw the man, and somehow she gets lost. She returns to the bridge, but the bicycle bell rings again, causing her to drop her camera. Someone picks up the camera in the end, but who? And apparently this bridge and the story really do exist. Several in the comments mention knowing hearing the story. One YouTuber, Golden M, writes, I heard about that bridge and my cousin lives close by it in the woods and she went to explore it and she said she heard the bike and she also saw the man and kid. Would you dare visit this bridge? I certainly wouldn't. Are you being followed? Published by Moosey in August of 2021, one subscriber to the channel claimed there was a paranormal forest near their house, so Moosey went to investigate. This is what happened. Using a paranormal filter on his camera, Moosey takes a few photos. He then goes home to develop them, or at least check them out on his laptop. He shows one of the photos of the paranormal forest without the filter. It looks completely normal, albeit a bit spooky. Note that there's no one in sight. However, the exact same landscape shot with the paranormal filter shows something different. Off to the right, a creepy and mysterious figure with dark hair and a white dress is standing in the brush. She is facing left and looking straight ahead. Another shot of the forest unfiltered again shows no one in sight, but apply the filter and the figure is there again, closer this time, and appears to be looking at Moose. See. Although it's hard to tell, as her face is transparent, she looks as if half of her has been erased. Moosey believes this entity followed him home. If she did, what is she after? I'm guessing his soul. A small bluish figure briefly hovers outside of a home before disappearing out of sight. It's hard to say what this is or even how close the object even was. On one hand, it looks like it could just be a strand of hair, but the way it hangs around for so long is quite strange. This object was also somehow able to activate the doorbell cam, so it must have had some mass to do it. The person who uploaded this video claims that it's a ghost, but let me know what you think this mysterious object is. Even with video evidence, I still can't fully tell. The Vancouver Paranormal Society investigates a house whose owner has been complaining of strange activity during late hours. 
They gather in the living room and decide to address the spirit outright. You can hear two taps after they try and get its attention. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. They next explain the rules of communication and get no response. Give me uh, a knock for yes or two knocks for no. That means it actually tapped twice to signify no. When they said they were going to ask it a series of questions, not only did it respond, but it somehow knew what it was going to be asked before they even said the question. As if that wasn't weird enough, as soon as they ask the spirit if it used to live here, they get a visual disturbance in front of the pillow that's in the woman's lap. Did you used to live here? Somehow, the team misses all of these signs and declares the house to be uninhabited by spirits. After watching these instances, however, I beg to differ. This YouTuber isn't sure if deep web mystery boxes are real or not, so he buys as many of them as he can as an experiment of sorts. Sure enough, some of them don't have anything weird inside at all, while others look as though they were packaged by a complete psycho. Take this dirty stuffed animal that's been stuffed with even dirtier stuffed animals, for instance. In the very last one is a pill container, presumably for smuggling purposes. The creepiest package of all is full of abused dolls. It looks like it was made by someone with serious problems. You can see how they cut off the doll's fingers one by one here. Then they made this children's pop-up book filled with occult symbiology. Ow. Ow. No. 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 Then they are about to throw the whole box away when suddenly a yellow Teletubby doll with a burnt face grabs their attention. Listen to the sound it makes and tell me how this noise is even possible. At this point, he's seen enough and decides not to open any more boxes. The only problem is at least several more are heading to his address in the mail. This infrared video from 2008, taken by a ghost hunting squad in South Dakota called the SPCTR, details paranormal evidence at an abandoned house haunted by the spirit of a child. A mysterious figure peers around the corner at the end of the dark hallway. A ghost if you ask, the SPCTR team, but I'm not so sure. The figure doesn't seem very tall and has shoulder length hair. If you look closely at 18 seconds, so maybe this was a little ghost girl in the hallway after all. If this is fake, then one of the paranormal investigators is crouched down to make themselves look like a kid. Tell me if you think this paranormal evidence is legit, or if this was a made up sighting from the early days of YouTube. It's creeping me out. I lived here for going on seven years. I walked a hundred miles through these woods. I've never seen that shape before right there. That's the reaction of James Jones after finding a strange human silhouette standing motionless in the Tennessee forest. What's especially perplexing is how James should be close enough to see the person's facial features, yet their entire visage is shrouded in darkness. It's not a broken tree or whatever. I don't know. It looks like it's connected right there, but it's not. I've been over there a thousand times. Even if this was a tree, there's not much of a reason for it to be completely dark instead of the same color as every other tree around. It almost looks like the figure is wearing a colonial style hat. Maybe it's the spirit of a soldier from the Revolutionary War. Or maybe they were a soldier in the Civil War. Let me know what you think it was, and if you think James was in any trouble on that day. A YouTuber named High Gear and his friend are riding dirt bikes in the Russian woods when one of them almost gets their head taken clean off. His friend ducks just in time to avoid a steel cable that's been stretched tightly between two trees. The tripwire would have done some serious damage if he hadn't moved out of the way. They think it's a trap set by some psycho lurking in the forest. You can hear the anger and disgust in his voice as he talks about what they should do next. He even talks about hiding in the woods for a while and getting revenge on whoever returns to the spot. Bye -bye.
bi mogao zdaj počakati, da pride meni stari. Veš, sem bez je bodo prsto meni zdaj, ja, lajk. Ultimately, they decide to simply disarm the trap and take the wire cable with them. If this video is real, then whoever set this trap must still be out there waiting for their next chance, so I hope High Gear and his friends stay safe out there. Now this may sound far-fetched, but this TikTok will leave you terrified. Shared by TikTok Paranormal and originally posted by Um Sam, I guess, this young woman was scaring her sister when she, herself, was scared by a shadow. But not just any shadow. Hey, let's go get my sister. Watch for the shadow person here. What are you doing? <laughs> Got you, me. Good. Go, 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 go. Did you see it? <gasps> oh my god, Danny, 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 Literally, someone just ran in here, I think. Huh? Someone just ran in your room. Is it an intruder or a paranormal figure? I can't tell for sure, but if this video hasn't made you pee your pants, I don't know what will. The G Team visited downtown Savannah, Georgia at night in this paranormal investigation. The first spirits they meet seem to be super friendly. In the streets around here. Did it just say hi? It said hi oh. They begin to feel a presence around them. In the car, that's why it stopped. Okay, so when I was over there a few minutes ago, I thought I somebody walked up behind me. And I looked around, there was nobody there, and you were way over that way. Peering into the Davenport house, the lady's spidey senses start to tingle. Oh, that's weird. Look at that. So this is the Davenport house. Then as they're standing outside more historic buildings, they hear this mysterious noise. I was looking up there because I felt like something was up there. Oh, what was that? Did you hear that? I did. And even creepier, they see what appears to be a shadow entity. In the end, the G-Team is feeling such creepy vibes that they call it a day. Get this sketched out no. very easily. I'm usually the one getting the sketched out feelings, but she's got it really bad. I'm like, usually, let's do it. Let's go for it. Let's get in there. <laughs> Would you keep up the search? Me neither. Leonard Thomas Lake was a very evil man. It is believed that Leonard and his partner, Charles Zhang, took anywhere from 11 to 25 lives keeping them in a remote cabin at the foothills of the Sierra Nevada in California. After a medical discharge from Vietnam, he joined a hippie commune near San Francisco where he got married for a short time. But soon, Lake found someone who shared the same dark desires as he did. It was only when Lake met Charles Ng in 1981 that the pair started their shared spree. Charles had also served as a Marine but was dishonorably discharged for theft and desertion. The two agreed to share a cabin together. Lake had built a dungeon next to the cabin. The next year saw the two partners take a number of lives, including neighbors, friends, workmates, and sometimes whole families. On the cabin property, journals, remains, and these lost tapes were discovered. Some of the tapes revealed the horrible acts committed by these two heinous men. Others showed Lake's philosophy on what he wanted in life. Although Lake didn't see justice, you go along with this, cooperate with this, we'll be as nice as we can to you within the limits of keeping you prisoner. The tapes served as proof that his partner Charles was involved in the actions, for which he was convicted on 11 counts. 
No one's getting any sleep in this room tonight. Published by AMA Media Channel in April of 2022, a woman is trying to catch some Z's in bed when a poltergeist takes over the room. First, it causes this baby swing to jerk around erratically, which wakes the woman up. She gets up and holds it still, which it is for a moment, but then it starts to swing like crazy again. The woman seems to think it's the wind. She checks the window. When the chair is still again, something flies from off the top of the wardrobe. A moment later, the closet door creaks open and then swings open further. The baby swing starts moving briefly. A moment later, something creepy appears in the mirror of the wardrobe door. What is it? But I'd guess that it's what's causing all the chaos. This grainy video, taken in a dark room just outside of the kitchen, shows a children's toy suddenly glide forward on its own without warning. The quality of the video is not very good, but then again it was taken in 2010 and seems about right for camera phones of that time. As for why the camera was set up in that spot to begin with, I'm not sure. Maybe they have been experiencing paranormal activity in this area of the house and wanted to record it for proof. Either way, there's still enough light spilling in from the kitchen to show a string on the ground if there was one. I can't see one, and therefore I think there's a strong possibility that this video could be absolutely real. The YouTube team Greg and Heather's exploration know what fear is. They found it in the woods. As Heather is sitting near a campfire, she hears something unsettling nearby. What the heck? What was that noise? <gasps> she goes to investigate. Hello? Where is that coming from? Nobody answers, so she continues on. As she hears the sound again, she finally encounters its maker. There it goes again. Oh my Hello? What is this creature? What are you doing out here? Oh my Whatever it is, it's soon coming for her. Oh my Will she escape him? Where'd you go? It's almost creepier when he disappears. While the YouTuber explains in the description that this video is, in fact, fiction, the horror is real, and I think their monster is particularly chilling. We've all been there. It's a stormy night. Every sound in the house is an evil entity vying for your soul. That must have been what this man was feeling when he saw this happen in his dining room on a stormy night. The clip shows a man enter his dining room, which appears completely normal. Every chair in place, he enters his laundry room, then casts the camera down the stairs. It appears that something must have happened to cause him to search his house. He says hello down the stairs. Is someone or something there? He decides to go into his basement to investigate. The wooden steps are incredibly rickety. As he's nearing the bottom, a terrifying racket is heard upstairs. He runs for his life, only to find his kitchen chairs precariously stacked up, balanced one on top of the other. The dining room light is swinging around. The shot is still, as the man crosses the room and stands frozen in fear at this ominous sight. The overhead light continues to swing, and nothing is there. There's something especially uneasy about the stacking of this man's furniture. Part of that uneasiness comes from the fact that no human could have done this particular building job in the short period of time that the man was away. Who do you think did it? Or what? 
Alton Mene Severo posted this video in January of 2006 of an unexpected visitor. While playing with his webcam, this dude is being watched by an otherworldly creature from his doorway. Unbeknownst to him, you can see the outline of the figure lurking and lurching creepily in the hallway before it vanishes into the darkness. When this guy finally notices the figure in his webcam, he gets up to investigate, and he's never seen or heard from again. I made that last part up. I have no idea what this investigation turned up, but I do know one thing. I sure wouldn't want to run into whatever that thing was in the darkness. A YouTuber named Ashton Kelly is skateboarding with his friend Casey when they remember they're near an old haunted tunnel that might make for some good video. The first part is really small so they scoot across on their boards until it widens to reveal the true, much darker entrance. Ashton is commenting on nearby spiders when they hear a low rumbling noise that I think is just the wind but could be a growl. It's a big spider. What, what the Eventually, they go so far down that they no longer get a cell phone signal, meaning they're truly on their own from this point on. And that's when they see a single eye reflecting light. To this day, they're not sure what was watching them. The thing is low to the ground and I don't know if this is its whole body or just the head peeking around the corner. It doesn't move, which makes me wonder if they put it there. But it could have just been as surprised as they were. Ashton and Casey get out of there as fast as possible, but take a look at it again. What do you think they were running from? This odd and mysterious sighting in the sky has been viewed online by hundreds of people who have been unable to provide a proper explanation. The strange object floats from behind a tree and travels very fast. The oddly long shape does not look like a drone sighting to me, and it doesn't have any lights or identifying features. It's too far away to tell what it is for sure, but at the same time, it's close enough to tell that it's beyond creepy. In January of 2018, this emergency message was broadcasted to everyone in the entire state of Hawaii. A missile may impact on land or sea within minutes. This is not a drill. What's more alarming is how everyone seems to ignore the emergency directions that are instructing them to pull over. Bethany and the vehicle in front of her continue to drive, even when told by the radio to stop. Although, to be completely fair, they could have been on a one lane road with nowhere safe to pull over. If you are driving, pull safely to the side of the road and seek shelter in a building or lay on the floor. We will announce when the threat has ended. The broadcast puts the entire island into a panic, and I feel like this live stream video summarizes everyone's reaction perfectly. The first stage is a sort of disbelief and the need to confirm it's really happening. Oh gosh, what happened? Did you guys get that? Did you not get that? What is There's it? an emergency ballistic missile threat. The next stage is acceptance that this is real, which leads to scrambling for a plan, even in the face of total obliteration. Oh my god, what do we do? And the final stage is panicking at the realization that all hope is lost, that your life is about to truly end, the urge to run somewhere, anywhere, sets in even though it's clear nothing can be done. Babe, what do we do? Do what? As it turns out, this broadcast was a major mistake made by staff at a military command post. There was nothing this time, but based on these videos and countless others, I don't think we would really do as well as we would like to think in the face of an actual catastrophe. Steve Richards and Jason Griffiths make up the Ouija Brothers, a fearless ghost hunting duo from the English Midlands. What makes them different from most, aside from their bravery, is that they are more skeptical and often set out to debunk famous haunted locations rather than promote them. With that said, they may have met their match at Shepton Mallet Prison. Built in 1610, Shepton Mallet Prison is the oldest prison in the country and also was the longest running until its closure in 2013. Four centuries of brutal treatment have since created hostile spirits who were, for the most part, already not good people 
people to begin with. So much horror has happened here that a strange feeling of negative energy is said to have washed over the very walls themselves, and it isn't long before the Ouija brothers, despite their usual level-headedness, find themselves looking over their shoulder and questioning every sound. Sure, any building that's centuries old is bound to make some really creepy noises, and some of what they record just sounds like the foundation setting and stuff like that. But other encounters, like what happens here only two minutes into their investigation, seems to be in response to a very specific question. Are you upstairs? I agree with them that it's coming from somewhere above, but let me know if you do too. Whatever's following them, it seems to prefer to have a height advantage at all times. But check this part out at 8 minutes and 25 seconds. Jason actually looks up a split second before he hears the noise. So did they plan this and he messed up? Or did he sense it moments prior? Is that you? Uh, he was up above, wasn't he? Confident they found a particularly haunted prison wing to explore, the Ouija brothers walk past each cell, encouraging anything inside to come forth, and they gently coax the spirit into revealing itself. Stee is too busy looking straight ahead and misses the light anomaly appear against the wall right next to him. I fully admit that it could be their camera equipment, but it never happens again a single time. And get this, the light appears at the exact same moment. Jason wanted to know if the spirit remembers what life was like at Shepton Mallet Prison. If you wish to come out, knock on the door that you want to come out of. Do you remember? Neither of them see this though, and so unaware that it's already worked, Jason continues to talk to the spirit about how the prison guards were able to go home. Well, they had to stay here, and out comes the loudest bang of all. Whoa, what was that? But that's not all they hear. They get out the electromagnetic meter to try and measure air currents for paranormal activity. Nothing happens at first, but then it beeps loudly and turns green for a long time. They can't get the meter to do it again and are trying to figure out if this was a glitch when they are interrupted by something scary mid-sentence. I'll enhance the audio to make it easier to hear. It's a small, muffled voice from far away, so tiny and distant that it shouldn't have even registered on camera, not with that heavy door closed behind them. And yet it reaches their ears with alarming clarity. They agree it's a woman, but still they are unable to pinpoint its exact location. And when they go outside, the prison is as empty as ever. According to legend, this could be the voice of one of the oldest prisoners, a woman known only as the Woman in White. She is said to have taken the life of her fiancé and passed away in six 1680 from regret. Now she wanders the A and B wings moaning her sorrows, and as they are searching for her, the electromagnetic reader they left behind goes crazy once again, indicating that while they may have left the room, perhaps she has not, and the reason why they were able to hear her so clearly was because her ghostly presence had been standing not in another room, but behind them all along. Max from YouTube channel Paranormal Point is investigating the so-called Swamp of the Dead in this scary video, it leads him into dark places. As he continues to delve deeper into the swamp, he gets readings on his device, but that's not all. The device continues to be triggered, particularly by this large tree. Then he appears to see something in the darkness. It's too dark to make out with a human eye, but Max retreats. When he breaks out the spirit box to interview the spirit, the spirit has questions of her own. Чтобы помочь тебе покинуть наш мир. 
she tells him something ominous. Who is he and who are they? And where will they take him? If I were Max, I wouldn't follow. This spooky midnight sighting is quickly becoming known as the ghost boy under the stairs. It could simply be a bug walking across the camera, but what's weird is how it seems to stay confined to the area under the steps. Then at 15 seconds, it reaches the farthest corner and vanishes. Take a look again and tell me if you think this is real or special effects. Even the person who uploaded this video says they didn't believe in the supernatural until seeing this at their job. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, the redditor writes that this is the most terrified he's ever been. The scary footage shows an attic of an abandoned house under night vision. At the beginning of the clip, Connor hears a strange noise. He looks around a little and, from upstairs, captures something in the window on the ground floor. It's glowing. He decides to go investigate. Down at the window in question, there's absolutely nothing there. Nobody, no light. Next, he uses a spirit box to speak with whomever is in the home. Someone asks him to help and let him out. Another voice says to please leave. Admitting this gave him chills, Connor says this is probably probably the last time he'll return here. As he's walking into an adjacent room, a board is flung at him. He stops in his tracks and turns around to look around him. Nothing is there. In the comments, Connor explains, it was a rock or a brick that barely missed. It flew past the right side of my head. That's why I'm never going back there because I feel like I could have passed away. No kidding, there is something evil in this house and it wants you to leave. You'd best listen. Two hikers are alone in the woods when they hear this startling noise. My well, phone's about to die anyway. There's a couple things that make me think that this video could be fake upon closer inspection. Listen to what he says after he hears the noise. I don't want to be out in the night So there it is again, do that. I mean, if I had just heard something that was that loud, I don't think I'd ask the person next to me if they heard it too. It seems like an obvious question. Maybe if we just went a bit further up, I might have seen something. Also, sometimes the mysterious sounds don't seem to match their reactions. Like here, for instance, she asks, what was that, when nothing was playing? Sometimes they talk during the noise too, which doesn't seem realistic because most people would probably stop talking and just listen. Tell me if you agree with this logic or not. YouTuber named Tai Jiang Ko is sifting through a deep web box when she comes across what appears to be some sort of surgical instrument with strange markings, though I don't know what they could mean, if anything at all. B4 or something? Yeah, it says B4 on it. Then there's also marker right here. I also don't know what they were used for, only that they leave a greenish stain on Tai Jai's gloves, which I hope is nothing toxic. She changes gloves and moves on to the next object, an ice pick covered in red at the tip. I'm hoping that it's just rust and not what I think it is. Let me know what you think. My only question besides what this could be is who put it in the box and why? EVPs were captured through a live radio during a live stream by YouTube team Ghost Adventures of Cornwall and these things are eerie. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that laughing? Who are you? <laughs> what? I'm laughing again. Who are you? First the word heaven is heard, then the laughter. A moment later it says the words proper demon. Was that you? Proper demon? What? But here's where it gets truly creepy. Yeah. The nails. Skin and the nails? What? 
Skin and nails? Does this demon of Cornwall want your skin and nails? I think it does, and it might be taking your soul with them. Published by LANH TV New in March of 2022, and originally published by Knob Team Explore. This scary video reveals that the real haunting happens just out of sight. As the cameraman walks us through an abandoned structure, he rounds a corner where two bright lights are spotted blinking in the dark distance of the surrounding forest. What are they? He whistles and walks toward them. But before we can get to the bottom of that mystery, something starts rattling off to the left. The cameraman turns in the sound's direction, and he starts to approach the rattling. Rounding another corner, he finds that this door is the culprit. He calls out and then runs away. Go, go, go. Somebody come. Turning around, he captures this hanging from the rafters. It appears to be a small pair of legs. The rest of the figure's body remains out of sight. When he turns around and casts the camera back, the figure is no longer there. What is this horror? Something that's gonna stay with me for a long time, that's for sure. Giant moving vat is supposed to pour molten steel into a receiving chamber, where it can be cooled and molded. This receiving must already be full though, because the red hot liquid quickly boils over and the intense heat causes a huge chain reaction. Liquid steel now blankets the floor as the vat continues to do its automated job, sending more of the lava-like substance spraying everywhere. At 5 minutes and 40 seconds, you can see two scared factory workers emerge from their hiding spot around the corner, where they must have been the entire time. They are extremely lucky to be alive. One whiff of the toxic steam would be enough to singe their lungs. Number a man follows footprints across a vast and frozen landscape at night, with only his camera light to guide him. The sound of each step amplified by crisp, fallen snow crushed underfoot. The mysterious footprints trail off at a lone tree, evenly split down the middle. He looks up, two peering eyes reflect back at him and he immediately runs away. The eyes are low and spread apart, so it could be some wildlife, maybe an owl, but that still doesn't explain why the footsteps lead directly to this spot, nor does it explain what happened at 38 seconds, when this creature might close one eye to give a knowing wink. This home video looks like it was taken sometime during the 1990s. A child is sitting in a high chair, happily learning about the different names for various parts of the body when something briefly interrupts the innocent lesson. This is my elbow. <laughs> Where is it? I have to go. The child tracks an invisible object with an exaggerated head motion. Then he mumbles about a ghost. It's hard to tell what he says, but I think he might have said there's the ghost or something along those lines, almost as if he's been at it before and has been expecting to see it again for some time. The child thinks for a bit and then says something else that's really weird. Is that a camera? Yeah. <laughs> It almost sounds like he's asking if his dad got the ghost or something like that. It's hard to tell what he says here, so give me your best guess. Maybe together we can figure out the surrounding circumstances behind this video. Anyway, things go back to normal for a bit, and it looks like the paranormal encounter is over. But then he makes a really confused face and looks around again saying something else that's completely indecipherable. Even if we were to know the identity of the child in this video, I doubt they would remember anything of use. All we have to go by is this puzzling piece of paranormal evidence. A YouTuber named Danny's World records scary noises in the woods at night, a fierce five minute struggle between two animals outside of his house. This way.
I'm not sure if this is real or not because at no point does he turn his camera light on, which is strange. Maybe he doesn't want to attract the attention of whatever this mysterious creature is. He's talking about how this sounds like no creature he's ever heard before in the woods of South Carolina. It sounds to me like this could be a rake sighting, especially at 2 minutes and 48 seconds when it apparently imitates a person whining for help. There's so much wildlife here in South Carolina, it's hard to tell. This is not it. What the? Or maybe it's simply editing. This video was taken from a waiting station at the Islamabad International Airport in Pakistan. Any strings attached to this chair would be easy to see on the bread and reflective cement floor, but I don't see any. And the chair slides across the room without anyone in sight. It looks like it might be getting pulled by someone off camera here at the 33 second mark, but then it does a 360 all of its own somehow. So that theory is pretty much debunked. There's also no way for magnets to work from beneath a solid concrete floor, so I have no idea how this was done. These strange lights have been flooding around in the desert for years with no reasonable explanation. Now here we are in the morning, barely out of the Marfa city limits, and we're seeing them out there, so Pete and I were just we're having a great Marfa lights trip. But floating is not all they can do. These lights are also known to change sizes split apart, merge, and disappear at random. Sometimes they even seem to land on the ground and travel at high rates of speed, which makes some people suspect that they are UFOs. I personally have no idea what these lights could be, but maybe we can all figure it out together. Some people say that it's a natural phenomenon that's caused by a buildup of electricity. However, I don't see any obvious weather disturbances in any of these videos. Cold Look at that. Oh my god. Check it out. Wow. Okay. This laboratory is said to be frequented by a spirit who is always near. Here you can see a door pull open by itself with no one standing on the other side. Just in case you were thinking someone could have opened it off camera, here is the same event from another angle, this time taken from the other side. No one is nearby, otherwise they would have cast a shadow on the wall or else be visible in the reflection of the clean lab floor. Unless this door is controlled by a button we can't see, then there should be no way for it to open by itself. So what do you think? Is this real or just a staged video cooked up by a bored scientist at work? A paranormal channel called Love to Investigate has one of the creepiest ghost videos ever, a sighting that looks real and must have been terrifying for them to have caught on camera. I don't like looking behind shower curtains, that just creeps me right out. The bathroom again. The That's pretty cool, that is. They are exploring a haunted mental asylum when the spirit of a former patient glares at them from the hallway. When they look up, it's leaving as she makes a comment about the smell. That's pretty cool, that is. It smells like an hospital in this part, definitely. The apparition has long black braids and wears a long dress that women had to wear at the mental asylum long ago. The paranormal investigator later comments that they had no idea they were being watched by the supernatural at the time. Had they known, they would have ran away in the opposite direction. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, fear can take your breath away. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Tyler12798 explains that he took this video while he was 12 at his mom's office. Tyler writes, There were rumors that a ghost named Kevin roamed the place. One day I recorded this. We heard deep moaning coming from a window. Let's see what happened next. You. Keep open the door. Keep open the door. Close it. Open. Now open it. Open. Open. A wooden door kept slamming and swinging of its own accord. According to Tyler, all the windows were closed when this occurred, so it was unlikely to be an issue of airflow. Some in the comments know that they have never captured the other side of the door on film, so there might have been someone behind opening and shutting it. Tyler claims there was no one. 
in the comments, Tyler also writes that when he returned from the bathroom, a sticky note on the door read, Kevin was here. While many insist that outside airflow caused this, we'd like to think it was the Home Alone ghost playing practical jokes. So do you think this has a rational or paranormal explanation? YouTube team Rota X Investigaso Paranormal explores this haunting place where something horrible happens. As they walk in, they sense there's someone there. As he introduces himself, it sounds like someone runs off into the darkness. They get back to their investigation, addressing the spirits. In one dark and scary room, their device goes off. And a second time. Tá, obrigado pela sua resposta, tá bom? And then a third time. Tá, alguém faleceu aqui, né? E você poderia me dizer? While the readings are interesting, I'm more intrigued by the person they sensed in the building who seemed to escape. Laughter is the last thing you want to hear in a cemetery. Published by Alberto Del Arco in December of 2021, this terrifying clip captured in a cemetery will leave you on edge. As the crew converse with each other, a creepy, high-pitched laugh is heard in the background. Oh, you see? Yes. Sí. Hola? They try to contact the spirits in the graveyard using a spirit box. One of them distinctly says Kila, which is the word that in Portuguese, and continues to speak, saying hi to the team. Hola, hay alguien aquí que quiere hablar con nosotros? Hola. He later says his name is George. ¿Cuál es tu nombre? George? What does George want? And was that who he heard laughing? We're left with many questions, but not many answers. Ever felt like you were being watched? These three boys definitely had reason to. Posted by the comics man to the Chills Narrator subreddit, the uploader writes, Some dudes go to the Danakil Desert, or a park, what is in the first frame? The video shows three kids getting ready to do some parkour, everyday kid stuff, but not far beyond in the background. Look at what is watching them from a nearby tree. The figure appears like a silhouette and gives off serious Slenderman vibes. The ominous way it's lurking there makes the otherwise innocent parkour video intensely creepy. You can vaguely see the figure again at a distance, at 1 minute and 43 seconds. It continues to stand there in the clump of trees, and again around 3 minutes in. What is this thing? Do these boys have a lurker? Nowhere is safe. A YouTuber named Sean Durez decides to go ghost investigating with his friends at their studio office, which is apparently haunted. They meet up at 2 a.m. and are talking about what they should do next when something in the next room over wrecks their plans. What, what actually what? was that? Approximately 10 seconds later, this sound fills the building. Listen to it and tell me if you think it's real or edited. Oh, Wait. Shh. Legit. By now, they are pretty much freaking out and ready to take off but the spirit isn't quite through with them yet. You'll see absolutely nobody was nearby when this happens, which makes me think it could be real. All of the lights shut off before they get a chance to leave. One of them turns the camera light on just in time to see their friend blankly staring at them from the ground. I guess he could just be acting, and one of his friends pulled him by his feet, but that still doesn't explain this actual ghost sighting at the very end. Let's go! Go. 
I think this could be real because the raw adrenaline sends his friend barreling straight through a door. What's scarier than being home alone when you think you are, but you're actually not? Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Amy Dancing again, the Redditor explains that she was home alone and making a TikTok video when she started hearing noises. She writes, I heard banging noises from the spare room we use for storage. No one else was home and there seems to also be a weird humming noise. The clip appears to be taken in Amy's room. Although faint, you can hear knocking and banging noises in the background. The strange humming sound could be a car passing or some sort of vehicular noise. But as for the banging, who knows? Can you hear that? Amy asks. Yes, Amy, we can. Time to take a leaf out of Macaulay Culkin's book and start setting up some booby traps. This neighborhood in Lando Lakes, Florida was built on shaky ground and now the earth is reclaiming the houses as its own. Within the course of nine hours, this house is completely snapped in half and sinking into a swell of groundwater so deep that it engulfs a palm tree with ease. Through the water, see how much water? Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Hours later, the sinkhole has easily quadrupled in size and is busy dismantling a second house. There is nothing that can be done as the foundation is ripped away. Here you can see how close this third pink house comes to being lost in the abyss. Only a small strip of land protects its corner from going under, but somehow it holds firm and the family is able to recover their belongings. Sadly, all of the remaining houses had to be condemned because even though they were spared this time, the sinkhole could randomly widen at any minute. It's a terrible situation, but perhaps most terrifying is that moments before their eventual collapse, you would never suspect that anything was wrong. All of the houses look structurally sound in these photos taken months prior. The yards and driveways look level, the telephone poles stand straight up without leaning, and the roads likewise look smooth and have little cracks. In other words, exactly like your neighborhood probably looks right now. Worms aren't only found in insects. They can also be found in that next bell pepper you buy from the produce aisle. The uploader writes, That thing was in a pepper. Looks like he wants to grow in someone's gut, lol. What is that thing? The thing looks like a tapeworm, but according to Snopes, the worm inside the pepper actually isn't that dangerous. The viral video came to light in August of 2019. The stringy worm moving inside the pepper was something a lot of viewers couldn't unsee apparently, and many saw it as it was reposted on Facebook a million times with viewers warning about the worm. Some posts warned that the worm was called Simbla Merch and that it was a new type of worm that delves into moist areas of the the body, resulting in possibly passing away. The claims, however, like so many posts on Facebook, were inaccurate. One said it might be a horsehair worm, which we talked about in the previous parasite entry, but adult horsehair worms are darker. Even the original message was false. This is not a new type of worm, it's been around since the dawn of time. Lesson learned, clean and prepare your green peppers properly, but still eat them. Another lesson learned, it's late at night when a group of friends hear a woman screaming for help and decide to investigate inside the house. They enter and look around trying to figure out where the woman is. Soon the cameraman realizes their female friend is no longer with them, and as they head upstairs they see her getting dragged into a room. They try to go back downstairs but there is someone blocking their path who appears to be possessed with a group trapped inside the house. They are eventually each picked off by whatever was in that house. According to the footage, the group was never seen again. And though their reactions seem quite realistic, I've been unable to find more information on the incident, so therefore I cannot decide whether this is real or a skit. 
Mr. Green published this video in 2016. His description reads, Just a normal night with me, the missus, and our dog Freddy. Then all of a sudden he went mental at the wall or window, and whatever it was just touched him. This is no joke. I'm freaking out. The dog is barking at the window in the beginning of the clip. Then suddenly he backs away sharply and quickly. The couple believes the ghost touched their dog because of this jerking movement. The window. <laughs> what the f The dog spends the remainder of the video running around the house like a madman, looking for the ghost. He's no longer barking, but he does seem very agitated. His owner tells him to calm down now, and he does seem to calm down for a moment. But when the owner picks him up to hold him, he starts barking hysterically again. What could have touched that poor dog? Was it a ghost? If it was a ghost, what did it want and where did it go? What happens when a djinn is out to get you? YouTuber Hassan Barbar knows a thing or two about that. The djinn is on his tail in this video. He first hears it banging around in the next room. Bismillah. Where is it hiding? It seems so close and yet it's nowhere in sight. Still, it's right behind him at every turn. Soon the jinn's energy grows unstable. And it's nearer than he thinks. Watch the door to his left. One of Hassan's hands is holding his camera, the other is at his side, so it's without question that the door was nudged by the djinn. Back at the rocking chair, the djinn is heard moaning again. What is he saying? What does he want? I think this game of hide and seek is not a game at all. The djinn is after Hassan's soul. Rankin Fishing is at it again at the Indian River Inlet in North Beach, this time hoping to hook himself some blue fish. Never was he expecting this. He gets a hit on the line and is a little nervous to find. In his words, The freaking worst thing to catch. The arrangement of dark brown and black spots on its back immediately tells him this is a clear nose skate. Skates are similar to stingrays, except for a few differences I won't get too deep into. All that matters is they will defend themselves, however they can live another day. This one looks to be full grown so he has to be extra careful. It's not the tail he needs to watch out for, but rather the mouth. The clear nose skate has between 46 and 54 teeth on the top row, and around the same number on the bottom. 108 teeth total, small and blunt, packed closely together for dense crushing power like a vice. Its jaws can crack open, hard-shelled prey like clams and crabs with no problem. Your hand is no match. At 2 minutes and 56 seconds, the skate's bottom lip becomes lurched out and is perfectly aligned with the soft webbing between his index and thumb. The end result is something terrifying. There's a lot of red and yelling afterwards, and the only thing left to do after unhooking the creature is dip his hand into the salt water. Let's just say he's lucky the skate got this part of his hand, as opposed to a finger, which would have come right off. He wonders out loud if something's going to happen to him later. I'm sorry, that hurts so much. I hope they don't have any 
like toxin. I did some research and found that skates, unlike stingrays, do not have any toxins, so he doesn't have that to worry about, but he should still probably go to the hospital because it might have some nasty bacteria around its mouth that he wants nothing to do with. He later describes this encounter as the worst physical sensation any deep sea creature has ever inflicted on him in all his years. He has my sympathies, and I hope, for the sake of his hand, that nothing else from the ocean is ever able to do worse. October of 2017 is when a Canadian YouTuber named Moosey started to experience supernatural problems in his home that were far from normal. Things like spirit sightings and hearing voices. Something is in his house with him, something he can't see and wants gone. One afternoon, Moosey is playing a PS4 game with his brother when the television starts acting up in a way that's been happening far too often lately. And it's really weird, like, he's been telling me it's been happening all day. Somebody could have simply turned it off with a remote. His brother Joe isn't holding the remote, but maybe Moosey is. I don't think it was either one of them though, because it looks like somebody unplugged the television, even though they were both across the room. Guys, what the f This is what I'm seeing! Disconnected again! What's going on? And when you look again at 4 minutes and 23 seconds, you might be able to see the faintest orb go by his wrist. Since this was made in October, I was thinking maybe this was a Halloween video or something like that, but Moosey's paranormal problems continued well into November. That's when it moved into his room. He claims he can no longer sleep because it feels as if something is watching over him. Guys, I don't know what's going on. There's just something preventing me. At 1 minute and 30 seconds, there are bags under his eyes that were not visible in the previous video from a week ago, so I see no reason not to believe what he says. As, as tired as I get, you know, you can see bag, bags under my eyes because I get really tired of my health. After days of no sleep, he now has a plan to cleanse the room. Moosey blends a special root with various household ingredients to make a powdery substance that is believed to keep spirits away. Interestingly enough, the sound on his camera cuts out and this orb appears just outside of his room, so perhaps there is some value in what he's about to do after all. I think it's interesting how the sound cuts off again here, almost like the spirits don't want to hear him finish what he has to say. Demons, be gone. Or it could have just been a technical problem uploading the video to YouTube. Anyway, after completing the exorcism, he waits until 3am before declaring everything is okay. He didn't wait long enough though. This is what happens 5 minutes after 3am. Free me from all this- oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Did you guys hear that? I really wish he would have thrown open the door here, so we could have seen for ourselves what was on the other side. The fact that he waits for almost a full minute makes me wonder if this really was his nerves betraying him, or just stalling to give his friends time to get off camera. Nothing is in the other room, but if he wanted to prove beyond a doubt that his house was haunted, he should have swallowed his fear and opened the door a bit sooner. Easier said than done, I guess. Moosey did eventually move two years later. He and Hype Mike are giving a tour of their new house when it becomes apparent that his paranormal troubles are far from over. <laughs> Nick. Whoa! The knocking comes from behind him, yet no one is at the door. However, in the mirror stands a small hooded figure, or maybe it's just the top of Hype Mike's hat. When they check the camera, the picture becomes garbled by what I suspect is paranormal energy from the same ghost as before. It's found their new address and it wants in. At 8 minutes and 27 seconds, they catch a glimpse of someone running up the stairs. Then they see it in a different monitor right outside of their door before the screen goes white. And that's when what happens in Moosey's old house at 3am repeats itself. The door is somehow locks even though they're on the side with a lock on it. So that's either paranormal or just an oversight in their skit, but I was kind of let down when they show it. 
I'm sorry, but I absolutely refuse to believe that this person in an all black spandex outfit is a ghost. So I'm not exactly buying this one, but it doesn't mean that the videos in his old house weren't real or that this wasn't a crazy fan who got their address. Champ is the name of a giant creature thought to lurk in Lake Champlain, a 125 long body of fresh water bordering New York, Vermont, and Quebec. It starts out small and then shows more of itself, and I think I see and hear air bubbles. The way this thing moves is nothing like a piece of driftwood. This appears to be a living creature capable of changing directions and diving. And there's more air bubbles. Maybe these legends had some truth to them after all, or so this video would make us believe. This doll room is said to be quite haunted, and you're about to see why when this tassel starts moving by itself. It looks like certain portions of the covers move by themselves, as indicated by their square motion boxes, but it's actually just this woman who is moving in her sleep and easy to miss. So either this is fake, or the combined paranormal energy of all these creepy dolls is enough to get this ornament to move. Warning to young explorers, don't enter abandoned malls at night. Jask and Ho published this footage in September of 2018, illustrating exactly why. Explaining that the mall in question is Charlestown Outlet Mall in the US, he writes, This is an older video I thought I'd drop for you guys. The mall closed for good over 30 years ago, and I did record a video here before, but there was talk about the basement level, so we went in. While the first nine minutes reveal your typical exploring of the abandoned mall, nine minutes in, one of the crew peers into a dark room beyond, and that's when he hightails it out of there, followed closely by the rest. <laughs> One of the bunch says they were running for nearly five minutes. According to the one who first ran, he saw someone in the room beyond. Although the video didn't capture the figure, we can only imagine what this group came across. And with that in mind, I think they made the right choice getting out of their ASAP. On a trip to Thailand, YouTuber DDoc Michael skipped the beaches and instead spent his holiday exploring this intensely haunted house. Upon entering, he hears whispers. He continues his exploration but is scared off by another voice. Still, he stays. As his search goes on, he hears another noise. Who are you? And at last, he sees what's making it. The stranger in the abandoned place is ready to throw down. What? What? Who are you? Hey! <laughs> Michael runs off, thankfully escaping unharmed. To me, this just goes to show that live humans are often scarier than spirits. A warehouse worker gets wrapped up in some wires and stumbles. His grip loosens at the scariest moment, and he almost dumps a heavy ladder on the head of a person who is looking down on their phone. He doesn't really get out of the way in time, but the ladder turns in midair and thankfully misses him. Ironically, the person was on their phone trying to program the very same security system, which caught his near demise on camera. I'm really glad he's okay, because he was not wearing a helmet and would have gotten seriously messed up. This paranormal investigator regularly observes the Savannah Theater. This is one of the first videos Redditor Background Ad 6785 captured there. Look at how much it's 
slows down. Yeah. That's so insane. And the shape is just what threw me off. Wait, like, show the... Do you see the thing flying around? Look at how much it slows down. That's so insane. Why does it slow down so much? Some in the comments think it's dust or a moth. I do think both theories are likely, but I'd prefer to think there's something more mysterious happening at the Savannah Theater. A mysterious shadow creature sighting was recently caught on dash cam in Falmouth, Maine. That's worth further investigation. The all black shape darts in front of the vehicle in a split second and then it's gone. Seemingly moving faster than any animal should be able to. I'm at a loss as to what could this bizarre sighting possibly be, but I'm guessing it's either a wildcat, a paranormal mist, or something completely different. I wouldn't be surprised if that stretch of road is haunted, so I'll be on the lookout for more shadow figure videos in this area. A YouTuber named Phoebe Mayhew made a scary face swap video from 2016 that's still an unsolved mystery to this day, and I'm hoping this is the year we can find an answer. So Phoebe makes a joke about having no friends to face swap with. When this invisible presence takes her up on her generous offer to change faces. Hello, anyone? Anyone want? The eerie apparition is apparently above her, and she switches places with something peering in from the highest point of the door. So the only thing in the corner that possibly looks like a face would be the overhead lighting. But when Phoebe tries to recreate the situation, nothing happens. But it's definitely not the light it was doing it to. Because the light's over there and it's not doing it now. Like I said, I don't see anything else in that doorway that could have set off the face swap. Do you? It makes me wonder if something tall and creepy was watching her and then vanished. A YouTuber named Jeff Saxton is playing with his Ouija board all alone one Friday night. He asks if any spirits are around him and immediately gets a positive response. He contemplates quitting but decides he owes it to his viewers to keep going. He's in the middle of asking some routine questions when all of a sudden this happens. What the? Yo, guys, 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 guys. Ow! Ow! His pointer slips away and something knocks over his camera. Jeff Saxton steadies the camera and refocuses it on three tiny claw marks, now adorning his right arm. It's hard to say if these are fresh marks or just old scratches from a cat or something like that, so give me your best guess as to whether this video is real or fake. After a day of poking around an abandoned asylum turns up nothing of interest, a YouTuber named Abandoned Explorer and his friends are leaving when an SUV comes close to running them over. Out steps an aggressive older man, who first admits to putting them in danger and then kicks over their camera. The police should come in. It's You're not running me down. I did run it down. I'm trying to put that out. I'll put it up first. Here it looks like he is getting back into his car to drive away, but look closely and you'll see he is actually rummaging around the back seat for something. He's got a gun! He has, he's got a gun. Yeah? Yeah. That's when the group realize what it is he's reaching for. It's hard to say how much trouble they were truly in based on the way he used his car against them. I also have little doubt that this man would have also used a piece if they had stayed instead of run. Everything Paranormal Show gets in on the scary Randonautica video craze and goes randonauting with paranormal creepy stuff in mind. Now, just to let you know, my intent was paranormal, paranormal creepy. The TikTok app takes him to a random address and he waits for some creepy stuff to begin, which it most certainly does. We've got, like I said, this dude's checking me out. I wanted something creepy. Yeah, this dude's just standing here, freaking staring at me. Before he knows it, somebody is standing near his car. They're not moving, just staring him down. To be fair, what to him is a creepy man could just be someone wandering, who is in their parking space. But even when he leaves, the man is standing completely still, simultaneously staring at nothing in particular, and everything all at once. 
An all-white mysterious mist approaches this home and briefly flies away, only to come back in the opposite direction and fly off camera once more. I was thinking that this could be some kind of bug crawling across the lens until I took a second look, this time observing its behavior. Upon returning, the phantom mist reaches out and actually taps on the door with some kind of ghostly appendages. The timing and placement of its knocking gesture makes me think that this is probably a poltergeist playing tricks on the people inside. Go into the forest and you may never come out alive. YouTuber Clover Forest Creature posted a series of videos that might deter you from ever entering the forest again. The YouTuber writes, We are uploading these videos, hoping that people can help us identify this animal or help explain what is happening here. According to the video, they'd been hearing strange noises emanating from the forest over the past week, and when they asked their neighbors, they discovered that others had seen lights coming from the forest's interior. Pets had also gone missing in the area, expecting to find some stray animal in the forest that was perhaps responsible. They discovered something else. In the first video, they find something hanging from a tree branch, which they say looks like a doll. As they continue to wander into the dark forest, they hear something in the brush. Really? Listen. Whoa. They run away from whatever it was that made that noise. After debating whether or not to go back, they see bright red lights coming towards them. Are they the burning coal eyes of some unknown creature or something else? You'll have to watch the entire series to find out. Fearless Fox X has his bravery put to the test when a creepy stranger returns to his house for a second time in one night. Listen for the scary voice in the background. Just looking at it, and she was like talking for herself. And she was there for like at least 10 minutes, and then she went to my. She went to my brother's car and she's just saying all kinds of crazy stuff and talking to herself. Camera in hand, he creeps up on the stranger to see what else can be caught on video for all to see. Wow, this. She's creeping me out, dude. She's like shaking her head around and moving her arms like she's being possessed. The closer he gets, the quieter the stranger becomes. The darkness grows still, tense, and he dares not turn on his light. I'm scared. Will I? Proud I? Proud I? Will I? He makes a bold assumption that this person is completely clueless about where he is, but the mysterious figure is more self-aware than any of us could have ever imagined. She has no idea. I'm right behind her. <laughs> he decides to go home quick, and we never get a closer look at the mysterious figure in the darkness. Posted by Footage Finder 57 to the found footage subreddit, you'll probably rethink your next camping trip after watching this piece of found footage. A group of people are hanging out around a campfire watching videos on a big screen and chatting. One of them notes that their friend Alexis went to the bathroom and has been gone for a very long time. They decide to investigate. As they're walking through the forest, a scream pierces the night. They start running towards it, shouting out her name. In the middle of the forest, they come across a strange teepee made of logs. When they peer inside, there's a person tied to a tree stump. And then... Whatever four-armed or legged creature has captured Alexis comes after them too. The group screams. The camera is dropped and no more is heard. <laughs> Redditor Tribal Transfusion 311 pulled a still shot of the creature. This is what we're dealing with. Although the origins of the video are unknown, this found footage is certainly one of the best quality if faked, and one of the most terrifying if not. This huge wall of security monitor shows that everything in this building is silent, and still except for a single sign going haywire.
I've seen signs twisting around from the air conditioning before, but this looks a little different. The back and forth swaying seems very deliberate, almost as if an invisible force is hanging off of it. I don't have much more information about this video, aside from it taking place somewhere in Singapore. Let me know what you think of it. This campus is home to a fixture called the Ghost Lamp, a light with a life of its own. According to legend, a young woman who attended the college took her life when she was kicked out. The woman's soul remains in this light. None of the other lights in this area flicker like this. Redditor Hyperpain thought it was Bull until his brother took him there, and then this happened. There he goes. Up. Can you turn on full bright for my friend Regan? Oh, hi. There it is. <laughs> See? <laughs> See? That's, it does that. That's what it does. Okay. See? It seems to respond to their request, but does that mean it's paranormally activated? An electrician and a priest weigh in in the comments. Well, I guess that settles it. The ghost's soul must have some faulty wiring. A YouTuber named Aeromax Music has to walk down the CD hallway late at night, six days a week to get to his apartment. It always gives him a terribly dreadful feeling, so this time he records himself to feel a little safer. The entire time a neighbor is playing some creepy dance music that has a heartbeat and bass turned up loud enough to make the wall shake. You can't hear anything else. And that's precisely why this next part is so scary. Despite the loud music, a woman's frantic laughter is heard next to him in the empty hallway. At this exact moment, a visual disturbance appears in the bottom corner for only a few frames and disappears. Could this be his thumb? When he gets onto the elevator, the music stops and a weird noise can be heard. Is this a creaky gear or a disembodied moan? Basically, do you think these occurrences are all in his head, or is this a hallway that's truly haunted? Shared by Redditor Alarmdad5309, this video looks ominous when you click on it, but you have to watch closely to see why. Did you see it? Watch again. This time, keep an eye on the shelf with the mirrors. A candle suddenly lights up and it stays lit through the remainder of the minute-long video. Is this proof of a spiritual presence? Some in the comments think so. Some think the cat is a fire starter, but I think it sees something that we cannot. History is bound to affect the aura of some places, particularly history as chilling as Lemp Mansions. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by Baked Potato, the Redditor writes, This video was taken off my friend's old phone when she visited the Lemp Mansion years ago. Before we analyze the clip, You'll need to know a little background on Lemp Mansion. The historical house in St. Louis, Missouri was the home of the Lemp family in the early 20th century. Three of the Lemps would go on to take their own lives in the family home. The only surviving Lemp was Edwin, who lived until the age of 90. He did not live in the Lemp family home, however. He moved to his own estate later on. Needless to say, with all these horrific and sad occurrings in Lemp Mansion, some believe it's haunted by spirits. It's now a restaurant and inn that offers haunted and historical tours, and also hosts Halloween parties and dinner theater. Perhaps it was at one of these events that a Redditor's friend caught this frightening footage. 
As the friend wanders around the mansion in the short clip, you can see odd moving shapes throughout, but the scariest appears at the end. A dark figure lurks in the bright light of the window, materializing out of thin air. It then disappears when the camera pans back around again. According to the Redditor, his friend didn't see the figure at the time. Redditor Fluffy Socks writes, If you slow it down and look frame by frame, you'll see he's sitting there looking out the window. Gives me a pretty weird feeling, TBH. Do you have that feeling too? I certainly do. Multiple cameras capture a UFO hovering over Jerusalem in 2011. The small moving ball of light glides over the building tops for a while, and then does a dazzling aerial maneuver that no human aircraft could ever possibly replicate. <laughs> Yo! I would think this is CGI, but the same event was reportedly witnessed by numerous people who don't know each other. In this second video, you can see the ball of light is over the same domed building as the before and abruptly flies straight up. I will admit that the UFO in the first video looks a little different than the UFO in the second video, but I think the first video was recorded with a digital camera and the second was recorded with a cell phone from almost a decade ago, so that would explain the visual discrepancies. This apartment has a rogue poltergeist on the loose and Seeker of Ghosts has come to tame it. First, the poltergeist demands that you wash your hands. In fact, he's pretty adamant about it. He then takes another tack. and later shuts the investigator in. Bored, he switches the TV on. Then this happens. After that, it's no holds barred. Later, as the investigator talks to the camera, the poltergeist becomes the director. Я пока в таких догадках, что I don't know about you, but I don't think the taming is working yet. A YouTuber named Justin Martinez is recording some planes near his house when he notices one of the planes has extremely sporadic flight patterns, almost as if it is stalking the other one. Then this happens out of nowhere. The plane is suddenly scooped up and fully disappears. When you zoom in and slow down, you can see it's probably not a plane, but rather a UFO. It flies up and away from the scene at a high rate of speed. I think this video might be CGI because it does look a little grainy. Other people in the comments section, however, have proposed that it's everything from flying insects to the same thing that took down the Malaysian Flight 370 not too long ago. A 
a boy thinks he's caught a real ghost sighting. He's checking himself out on camera when suddenly a ghost face in the window moves towards him before disappearing back into the night. There's a lot of pixelation around the boy's head, which at first I thought was due to a cheap camera, but then I realized this is probably a green screen. If you look closely, the ghostly figure in the window is wearing a red shirt that's similar to what he's wearing, so it's probably the same person. I think he recorded himself in the window and then superimposed it over this second video to make it seem like a genuine reaction to a real ghost sighting. It's pretty clever and almost fooled me until I took a second look. There is more to fear in the woods. Published to YouTube in October of 2007 by Dennis Daunt. This video purports to show paranormal activity in the forest outside of Dudley Town. In the forest, a man is heard dialing up a friend to let him know that he's seeing some creature in the forest again and he's going to try and catch it on video. He runs upstairs from the sound of it to catch it from a better vantage point. That's when, faintly, at the forest's edge, you can see a shadow pass in front of the trees in a quick flick. Some in the comments think it's a horse, but according to many others, Dudley Town is a cursed place. YouTuber TopSex4 warns others, Stay out of Dudley Town, it's a dangerous and evil place. When you get into the town, there is no sound, not even a bird, it's like you're in a vacuum. Bad things happen here. DGS104 also claims that his friend's car was trashed by spirits there. While well, Dave Harley agrees that Dudley Town is absolutely no joke, adding that many are said to have passed away in the coal mines, while other residents simply went insane. With such accounts and this video, I'm convinced to never visit. Scary scratching from within the basement should alarm anyone. Some would call for help while others would grab their phone. Not for help, but to make sure whatever's down there is caught on camera. That's what two roommates do after one hears noises in a hidden crawl space of their home. It could have been anything though. Nah, I heard. I was scared, man. I heard noises. Why well, move this? Move this first. Scary cat, dude. It could have been rats or whatever. What about it? We got a whole bunch of rats. The one who hasn't heard the noises is brave. The one who has is scared. Are you going down there? I'm not. There's a light right there, dude. You go down there while I record. There's no way he's going down into the creepy basement crawl space after hearing eerie sounds, so his roommate volunteers to show him up. Like the light right there, the string. It's around here somewhere. Open the lights, Hold up. Oh, I can't reach. Can't reach. I think I gotta step on that chair. There's a chair right here. To me. He squints in the darkness, and that's when he finds the scariest thing of his life. What a. One minute and 27 seconds is when I can barely make out a shadow figure straightening up to greet him. He's screaming and the video ends before we get to see if he escapes from the crawl space before it reaches him. The man sees a ghost hiding in his basement according to the title of this video, but I'm not so sure the supernatural is what he's caught on camera. Something scary is in his basement crawl space for sure, but think about it. Can't reach, I think I gotta step on that chair. There's a chair right here. Why would there be a chair positioned directly under his crawl space entrance? Unless somebody has been using it to climb into their home. I don't think this is a ghost haunting the basement. I think this is an insanely scary stranger encounter caught on video. Anyway, that's my analysis. But what do you make of this strange sighting? Is this the portal to the fiery depths below? The team from Proving Demons thinks so. In this scary video, they're screaming back in the screaming house. As they prepare to communicate with the spirits, the spirits get there first. I'm, I'm not ready for this, but let's just do it. Oh, why is it starting? Shit. Why is it starting? Do you know what I'm about to do? Do you actually know what I'm about to do? The device was triggered and then a tap is heard, and now it's time for a scream with an Aztec whistle. Okay. 
in the distance they hear something. What the f Sounds like the death whistle. What's that? That sounded like the death whistle. Something's Are you recording? Outside. Something's outside. Something's outside. Something's outside. Something's outside. Are you recording? Yes. So it's, didn't, it's not just playing. Are the spirits screaming back? They switch places to see if they're hearing the same thing. You blow on the top. Purse your lips around the top and blow into it with the megaphone in front of it. On a recording device, they hear the spirit laughing. Maniacal laughing. Is it laughing at their games? To me, the retaliatory screaming following the whistle does sound like someone is screaming back, but this laughter is the most unsettling part of the investigation in my opinion. Franco TV is one of the few ghost hunters I've come across who isn't afraid to investigate solo. In fact, he prefers it. Charging into the middle of the action and staying put is his style. Rarely does he run. On September 7, 2018, Franco TV goes to an abandoned house that's way out in the Florida forest. I can't tell you the exact location, but I can tell you the name. The Edison House. What's inside leaves him a sweat-soaked mess. The address is so secret that he had to track down some of the previous owners to find it. And since no one can stand living here for more than a few months, there were plenty of previous owners to choose from. It was accidentally built over a gravesite, according to them. And that's all they will say because it's so cursed that just talking about it could possibly bring about years of misfortune. None of this concerns Franco enough to keep him from going inside. Through the condemned door is a trashed interior that fills the investigator with the type of dread that burns stronger with every step. Everything about it feels off and wrong in a way he can't explain. Past a crumbling kitchen is a small kid's room that feels colder than the rest of the house. And as he's reading but not adhering to, the simple instructions on the wall. Get out. <laughs> he hears the giggle of a child. The laughter comes from behind him, practically in his ear, and he turns against a wall with a mysterious red stain that looks like it's squirted out of someone's neck. Across from him, this witch-like face appears against the window. It's most visible at approximately 3 minutes and 12 seconds, eyes and all. Undeterred, he goes to where it was standing and looks inside the room he was just in. As he's doing this, the same face now regards him through a crack in the doorway at 3 minutes and 40 seconds. It doesn't look like it's part of the door, but I guess it could be. The upstairs is cramped and uncomfortably hot. Down the hall is a red handprint that could belong to a child, except it's too high up on the wall. Perhaps they were struggling with someone trying not to be carried into this room. As Franco stares into the room, dozens of comments point out this figure staring back out at him from within the closet, just like the far wall says. I couldn't really see anything at first, but when I did, I suddenly wished I didn't try so hard. Something's there. Franco doesn't spend much time in this room because he gets an especially bad feeling, but one thing I noticed was this jet black spirit orb float up towards him and disappear. That's not a bug. The anxiety he gets from the second floor is a little too much, even for him, and look what happens when he goes back downstairs. I'm hearing all sorts of noises everywhere and I don't have no cover at all and I'm in the middle of the forest. So that's kind of like one of the reasons why it's going to be a little bit weird for me because I just I can't deal with that. This just so happens to be one of the only times he films behind him, so maybe this part is set up. Anyway, this was back when a supernatural challenge called Charlie Charlie was popular, and so he decides to play around before calling it quits. He sets up two pencils and waits for the ghost to respond. Is there anyone in this house right now? Is there anyone that's up? I don't know about you, but I see no string. Do you wish me to leave this area? 
A closer look under the light at 9 minutes and 17 seconds shows that nothing is tied around the pencil at all. He follows its advice and goes outside. By now, Franco is soaked in sweat and still hearing movements that I don't think he's making up because they sound too far away, deeper in the forest. And uh, from there, from, from there I'm gonna head home. After that, I'm done. I gotta get out of here. Part of him wants to leave, but he knows he has to explore the surrounding property because it's where more spirits roam around their unmarked graves. While staring out into the wilderness, he hears them. It's not traffic because there's no roads out here. And exactly two seconds later, it's accompanied by a voice warning him never to return. Holy Advice that Franco TV decides to take as he walks away from the Edison house with the blank, horrified stare of a man who has been shown far too much. While in search of the ghost of the headless man, YouTube team KBC Casadores de Fantasmas encounters some unexplained activity. As they're touring the haunted area, they hear strange sounds. Later, while communicating through the spirit box, they see the gate close on its own. <laughs> then, down by the water, they spot something unusual on the opposite bank. Here it is again. What made an appearance on the riverbank? Was it the same entity that opened the gate? I can't be sure, but I am impressed by what the team has captured here. I think it calls for further investigation. It's every urban explorer's worst nightmare. YouTuber exploring with Danny apparently uncovered four bodies while exploring this abandoned place. His dog came across them first. Diesel! Diesel, what are you doing, boy? After entering, Danny realizes he's happened upon a grim scene. Oh, my. I want to think it's fake, but Danny's reaction seems all too real. A YouTuber named Richard 205 Maria believes that some kind of advanced life form is following his every move. So he sets up surveillance equipment around his house. He finds this strange creature flying around his yard at around 6 in the morning shortly thereafter. The glowing all white apparition looks relatively small and is so fast that the camera has a hard time capturing any details. We can vaguely see four humanoid limbs and perhaps a set of wings as well, though it's hard to tell for sure. It appears to fly headfirst with its arms stiffly sat at its sides. A strange characteristic for almost any creature of flight on this planet. I think there is a strong possibility that this could be CGI, but I can't eliminate the possibility of an insect, a reflection of light, or even otherworldly contact. I encourage you to watch the other videos on Richard's channel and tell me if you think he has an extraterrestrial following him or not.
a number of scary viral Russian 3AM videos uploaded by Rostelman has everyone spooked, including himself. He wants someone to explain this mysterious event. He keeps going through night after night, so let's help him out. This window is taking some serious punishment from an unseen force and at times sounds ready to break. One night he can take it no more and makes one crucial mistake. He invites it inside. I myself would probably get reinforced steel bars installed on that window before opening it, but I guess he was trying to get a better look at whatever it was, and before you say he should have gone outside to see what it was, keep in mind it's late at night and freezing cold in Russia, so I wouldn't be in a hurry to confront this paranormal entity either. The last place you want to hear screaming is in a cemetery, in the darkness of night. That's what YouTuber Thrills heard when he was visiting Fox Island Cemetery, which is said to be haunted by a man in black. As they first enter the cemetery, they hear an unexplained hissing noise. Um, I will say the other camera is a lot easier to hold. What the heck is that? It's not, yeah, not that here, that's it. And soon the screaming starts. Did you hear it again? Yeah, I just heard it. After moving along, they hear the screaming a second time. What is this way, too? I definitely just heard something, yeah. And then a third directly after. I definitely just heard something, yeah. While this might be a wild animal or someone just hollering for the fun of it, it could also be the legendary Man in Black. I think he might just be toying with them. A paranormal YouTube channel known as Exploring Darkness goes on a two-person investigation that leaves them in their words. Really an exploring video. What in the what world? The? I said we're going to call this an exploring video. Now I'm getting scared. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing what true evil feels like by the time they're through. Is someone in here? In here. Standing just the roof. Uh uh. We nope 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 nope. On reviewing the video evidence. The research team sees a hooded figure at 3 minutes 51 seconds. Paranormal or not, there's no doubt that this is the person responsible for making all of the noise. Freaky, right? Sometimes those abandoned buildings that some urban explorers enter are not entirely abandoned. In fact, in some cases, they're the stomping grounds for the occult. Published to YouTube by Lego Papa TV in March of 2020. Papa was likely not expecting to be chased down by a hooded stranger performing a ritual in a house where lives have been taken, but that's exactly what happened. He writes, This is probably the scariest moment of my life I ever had. When moments like this happens, out of nowhere you put yourself in a situation that your mind goes blank. Papa explores the dark dwelling, which certainly gives off an aura that something terrible happened here. The house is utterly destroyed, littered with garbage, ransacked, covered with graffiti, and generally torn apart. As many in the comments point out, there were wet footprints at the doorstep, which may indicate that somebody recently entered the house, or was in fact there, or was still, in fact, there at the same time. And soon, Papa discovers he is not alone. As he wanders throughout the house, he hears noises. 
I know she stepped upstairs. Hello, anybody here? He even sees a flashlight as someone searches for him while he hides out in a bathroom. For some reason, despite all this, he continues exploring the house, ending up in the basement. But when he hears distinctive footsteps overhead, he hightails it out of there. Likely because it dawns on him that if he was to remain in the basement, he'd be completely trapped. It seems he escaped just in time. As he runs off into the woods, he glances back to capture a hooded person on camera, standing on the porch steps. If he had left a minute later, who knows what might have happened. A scary video recovered from WhatsApp begins with an evil laugh and ends with a scream. Wait, has any I'm not sure what they've caught on camera. Some kind of twisted half torso with a demented laugh it would seem. The strange form leaves the terrified man screaming and as he runs, a chair moves out on his own with no one under the table and no jump cuts or other editing tricks that I can make out. This image will soon be a permanent fixture in your brain. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Scared Shirtless underscore 420 is wondering, what is this? The image shows a large and intimidating figure ready to spring down the hallway at us. A woman whose face is censored is sitting against the wall on the floor. She appears unconscious or indisposed. The photo, whose origins are a mystery, is taken in a dilapidated hallway, likely in an abandoned building. But the scene's context leaves a lot to the imagination. What is this place? Who are these people? Did this mysterious beast attempt to take the life of this woman? And is it coming for you next? What's your theory? When you aren't sure if your imagination is playing tricks on you, post to Reddit to get another perspective. That's what this group of friends did after experiencing this strange happening. Posted by Dro to the Chills Narrator subreddit. The uploader says that while filming his friend playing guitar at his house, they heard something pound at the door. That. Wondering what it was, they decided to pursue it. After leaving their room, they spot something dark peeking around the corner at the end of the hallway. It darts out of sight as the boys chase after it, turning the corner and up some stairs to the open doors that leads outside. Once out there, they call after Toby, the pet dog that accompanied them, when from behind a garbage can, a ball rolls into view, thrust by a creature's arm. They race off back inside. The Redditor asks, Is this someone that broke into the house or is it paranormal? Let's see what Reddit thinks. The lovely Raven313 writes, Either way, this video sent a spine-tingling sensation down my spine and I wouldn't want to be anywhere near that house. Redditor Cheery B says, This is a terrifying situation, writing, I can't really point out that anything looks specifically paranormal, although the glowing in the middle of what looks like their head, when now they were at the top of the stairs, was interesting. Others warn the dudes to get out of there now. Paranormal or not, they should probably heed that warning either way. While visiting the morgue of this abandoned hospital, YouTubers The Fam and Oh My Gosh TV start to feel very cold. Their search begins outside, where James shares some of the horrifying history of this place. Looked up some pictures of this place, and there used to be about 2,000 crosses right here. Um, so they actually buried the dead bodies right here. And I'm a little worried because it looks like they were dug up or something. I don't know exactly what happened, but... As they continue inside, he's shocked that he barely missed stepping to his demise. Oh, that's electrical panels. Okay. What? Oh, I didn't even see that. What the? 
You just <laughs> whoa! Had it. All right, look. New rule. You have to stand right by my side, okay? They then hear something creepy. Well, I didn't hear what they did. The next noise is undeniable. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Is it finale? I can't say for sure, but after hearing that, I'd surmise that there's something very much alive in this abandoned morgue. After experiencing loads of paranormal activity in their home, Redditor as Crumner's son set up a camera to record through the night, and they finally caught something. A strange pillow creature moves rather clumsily near the son's bed at night. Right here. Okay, whoop. Uh, rewind it. Bring that back. And you then see, can it just we whoops right up. Ready? Watch right here. Watch right here. Whoa. So that's already am. creepy. Yeah, so there I am. That's right already there. creepy. Right there. And then it leaves as mysteriously as it came. Uh, ready? And then it just goes like. It yeets ready? back out of existence. There's my head right there. You can see me moving. And as soon as I move. Yeets back. And you see how as soon as I moved? As soon as I moved. Looks like it's leaning in towards you. Unless that's not Jesus. a blanket. What is that? Is like this? skin? It's hard to tell on the recording what the figure might be. I personally think it looks like a pillow or a blanket, but its behavior is odd to me. Of course, Reddit has fun with this one. I'm not 100% sold on the figure being a skinwalker, as I think there's a chance it could be either a leg or someone under the duvet, and if someone's creeping through the house dressed in blankets, then these guys have got more than paranormal problems to worry about. Creepy videos don't get much scarier than the creature caught lurking around Anton Meyer's house. No, his house is not haunted, at least not in the traditional sense, but this scary moment will definitely haunt him for the rest of his days in South Africa. The animal control expert needs to move the snake into a cylinder containment unit on the floor, but as more and more of the creature stretches forth, I don't think it will fit. I wanted to know if this is a snouted cobra like he says it is. If so, these snakes are highly venomous and probably the absolute last species you'd want in your home, let alone in such an intimate area. Oh, and by the way, according to the description of this video, the handler accidentally lost his grip and the snake made the watery retreat back to where it came from. Hopefully it doesn't make a second appearance when they least expect it, but since cobras tend to be territorial during certain parts of the year, it's likely to return at some point. A man is driving down a haunted road in Hawaii when he sees a pale beige orb on the left side of his camera. No idea what's, what that is on my screen. It looks like a ball of light on the left. I thought it was just his finger until I realized it was semi-transparent and slightly changing shape. I don't know what oh that my, is. Oh my, I what is don't that? know what that is. I have no clue, there's nothing there. Watch this part and you'll see there's no way that this is his thumb. His passenger points at something on the side of the right, and their hand actually appears in front of the orb. The weird circle continues to hover in the corner for a full three minutes. It does not fade or go away even when they pull over, turn off the lights, and step out of the car into darkness. It's still there, it's moving, it's still on the, the left. And I don't know what that If you have any idea how an orb could stay so plainly visible even without a light source, then let me know because I am honestly stumped. While this man was checking his home CCTV at night, he captured something he didn't expect. Published by Scary Desk in November of 2021, the scary video shows the man setting up his camera and checking that it's angled well in his yard. But as he's doing so, look behind him. A creepy face peeks out from behind a bush in the background. It remains in view even as a car passes by behind it. Oh, 
The face then slowly disappears back behind the bush. A closer look shows the creature's bizarre features. While it looked human from far away, it doesn't exactly look that way close up. Is this being wearing a mask? And why is it hiding? Whatever is going on here, it seems this man set up his security cameras just in time. A YouTube channel called Mysterious Oklahoma received this video from a subscriber who claims to have kept seeing something out of the corner of their eye in one spot of their house, so they set up a camera to record. What they capture is a fast-moving creature they refer to only as the Thing, which apparently moves so fast the camera has trouble keeping up. When you pause on it, you can see a very small figure that looks to be slightly lower resolution than the rest of the video, so it might not be real. Forests at night are innately creepy, but this one just got creepier. Published in October of 2006 by The Ghost Hunter, she writes, what appears to be a spirit moving amongst the trees in this surveillance video taken by amateur ghost hunters. The footage shows a ghostly, transparent figure moving through the trees from the right side of the shot to the left. Gliding amongst the trees, it then vanishes into the darkness. Many in the comments suggest the ghost is too tall and thus this video must be fake, but Ghost Hunter writes, Despite comments on this, I would approximate that the apparition is about 6 feet tall, as the tree on the right is about 20 feet. What do you think this figure is? If not a ghost, then what? One thing's for sure, it's definitely something you should keep the lights on for. A home security camera captured what appears to be paranormal activity in this haunted home. Published by Britwheel88 in March of 2011, the footage shows a woman leaving a bedroom. She is holding a camera. I'm not sure what the context is. She then returns and is standing in the doorway with one hand on the door. Suddenly, the door jerks slightly more open pulling toward the wall and scaring the woman out of the room. Is someone hiding on the other side of the door? Or is the paranormal playing around? Either way, I don't think something is right in this house. This mysterious footage was captured on camera by videographer Daniel Hobbit back in 1989. Shared by YouTube channel This Is The End, the mystery continues. Watch for the black mass. You can't miss it. Invited to a haunted home by a frightened couple who live there, Hobbit captured this strange shadow figure in one corner of the room. Every video in the home of a very frightened couple convinced they were living with a disturbed. While panning the camera, Hobbit also captured this in the mirror. Hobbit even caught the apparition reflected in a mirror. This shot persuades many top researchers that we are witnessing a real. According to the channel, the family moved from this home soon after. The footage has convinced some YouTubers of paranormal activity, and others have even experienced something similar. Given that this was recorded on VHS at a time where CGI would have been rare, I'm sold that this is real paranormal activity captured on camera. What do you think? According to YouTuber Gankwapi, this abandoned house has a horrific history. It's near the end of their investigation that they encounter this spirit. If you look a little closer, you can see a figure lurking in the darkness. Look to the right. It 
is that the old man spirit, stranded to haunt this evil house for eternity? I suspect it just might be, although I could also see it being the life taker's demon, jailed forever in this purgatory on earth. While spending the night in a haunted location in Saskatchewan, Canada, Redditor Purgatory Adventures felt the lightest touch. First they see a figure on the connect. There it is, there it is again. Can you wave to us if that's you? This is like directly right in front of me. Can you can you wave if that's you? Whoa, it just picked up its hand. Can you wave? Can you wave to us? They ask the figure to put both arms up and it complies. Thank you so much. Can you put both ha arms up in the air? Can you put them both up? Can you put the 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 right and left? Oh, it just went up. Dude, can you just can you hold them up? The figure is reluctant to reach for his hand. Can you reach for my hand? Can you reach for it? You grab? What the? Can you reach for it? But at last he reaches out. Reach for my hand. Oh, there he is. Whoa. There it is. Whoa, it just, I felt that. It just touched me. I felt it. I felt it. Well, some believe this is a ghost, others think it's an interaction between people in parallel universes. I felt it. I felt it touch my hand. I've got to say, I prefer that explanation. Next time you're wandering through a forest, look out for the trees. They might just be hiding duppies. Posted to YouTube by Javahan Ferguson in January of 2020. This video purports to show proof of a duppy caught in a tree. What's a duppy? Meaning ghost or spirit. The concept originated in Central Africa. Caribbean folklore in particular grasped onto the supernatural nature of the duppy. Many residents in fact claim to have seen them. The malevolent spirits appear most often at night and are meant to haunt the living. In the video, the so-called duppy woman appears to somehow be perched atop a tree. She is waving to someone or something beyond. If not something supernatural, how is this woman managing to stand or float atop a tree like this? And if she is a duppy, what imaginable malice does she intend to induce? Some friends practice soccer and talk about life when they cross paths with something that will change all of theirs forever. Caught on camera is what they claim to be a strange goblin creature clamoring across the kitchen floor. Only one of them looks directly at it and he drops to the ground and covers his eyes like they burn. The creature, which barely comes up to waist level, runs out from behind this area behind the refrigerator. They lose sight of the goblin in a dark room and the encounter is over, at least for now. A YouTuber named James Matthews recorded this video somewhere in the UK after he kept hearing this noise over and over again one day with no reasonable explanation. It sounds to me like it could be some rusty piece of machinery, but James lives in the quiet countryside and no farming equipment is big enough to sound like that. The noise seems to take up the entire sky. A candelabra is something straight out of a haunted castle, so it's no wonder this one is showcasing some really creepy paranormal activity. YouTuber Mr. Devilish looks on as the light fixture starts to dance. Okay, that was kind of weird. This thing is moving. There's no fan on or anything. This thing's moving. Holy when he gets closer, the fixture becomes even more active. Holy f This is like an old church. It's pretty crazy. And that's not all. Oh f That's f up. Something going on in here. 
Okay. If this was just the light fixture by itself, I think it could be explained. A rodent or animal of some kind could be mucking around in the ceiling, but combined with the curtain closing, I think it's more likely to be paranormal. While filming some footage in an old hotel corridor for a project, Redditor I am not the problem captured something unexpected. Look for the pale blobby thing floating in the middle of the hallway. Did you see it? The Redditor says it's not a bug, and they weren't wearing any reflective jewelry. Still, Redditors have some plausible theories. The more I watch the clip, the more I logic my way toward the mere hypothesis. It's early in the morning when somebody wakes up on the wrong side of the bed, and I mean that literally. The silhouette of a hand silently beckons beneath his brother's bed. The uploader of this video says the creepy shadow hand appeared one morning without warning and that it's real. I guess he was too afraid to go under the bed and find out what it was because the video ends then and there. Can't say I blame him. Hopefully somebody is holding their arm over the bed to create an illusion with their shadow of a hand reaching out because otherwise this is just beyond creepy. Two college students in Spring City, Pennsylvania decide to explore an abandoned asylum called the Penhurst State School and Hospital. They mostly find old rooms with floors covered in paint chips and other fallen debris, but a couple of strange things happen. First, tell me if you hear anything weird during this part. Some people say that they can hear a voice say the word mummy or something similar. I personally think that it's the sound of an old camera lens zooming in, but I'll let you decide. Anyway, they keep exploring and eventually go up a tall flight of winding stairs. Suddenly, the video cuts out and just 30 seconds later, somebody is holding the camera in the middle of the woods. Shortly before the video ends, many people have pointed out that this is not enough time to get back down the steps. So a big question about this video is what happened during the time lapse. Some people say that this was an art project, but if so, nobody has stepped forward as the creator, which is usually what happens once a video has gone viral. None of it adds up. A person is walking through the forest when a strong feeling of paranoia guides them to this moss-covered opening. They can sense something odd is near, but only when watching the video later do they realize how close it really was. A broad face with a wild flat nose and open mouth stares back at them. This is a troll caught on camera, says the internet, but the alleged troll sighting looks more like a natural formation in the bark so I can't say that I agree. Don't believe in unknown beings? What if one strolled right up to tap on your window? This unknown being footage posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by 77 Curen will inspire you to take a trip over to Area 51. The footage shows an unknown being approach the window of a home. Its features are quite clear, with black gashes for eyes and an elongated cranium. You know, the kind of features you might expect from an unknown being. The unknown being stands there, peering into the home observing. It even looks as though it's trying to find a way to open the window. If that is indeed what it's doing, it doesn't succeed, instead slinking off, perhaps to find the homeowner to take him. What do you think of this unknown being footage, real or fake? Either way, I'll be locking my windows tonight. Mackie and Amanda are about to enter the most haunted place in Orange County.
While exploring the house, they hear strange noises. One of their paranormal devices goes off, and at the same time, they hear something in the distance. So, if anyone's coming. While they're searching in the bathroom, this happens. Did someone just make a noise in here? What is that? What is that? No, I can hear it behind me though. It almost sounds like... I don't even know. A whisper is heard. I'm always gonna say if any spirits are up here with... Whisper, did it not? Yeah, it sounded like something. And then footsteps. What? There's like so many noises and stuff happening, and you just got it. <gasps> something just touched my bear. What is happening? The bear continues to be paranormally activated. Yeah, maybe we should move the music box down to closer to her room so that it can catch up. <gasps> it picked up. And then they notice something. What the? What music? What music do you like? Just like an ambulance. Like the doctor? Like yes. Like yes. Is this one of the doctor's unfortunate patients? I think it might be. And I think they passed away with unfinished business. An urban exploration channel called Urbex with Taffy goes investigating an underground bunker when they start to feel incredibly watched for no reason at all. They pause at the entrance to a dark room and, night vision rolling, call out to any haunting the tunnels with them. Okay, alright, so, um, is there anyone in here with us? Would you make a sound? Just make a noise? In the doorway is a shadow person who is not Taffy nor his friend, Carl. As you can see both of their shadows, it's weird that a third shadow appears as soon as they ask for a sign, but this wouldn't be too hard to fake with a third person's help. The question is whether or not it was really the two of them down there in the creepy haunted tunnel, and that's something only Carl and Taffy will know for sure. Sophie Dosi is a talented contortionist with a twisted sense of humor, so to speak. Here she does a crab walk backwards at top speeds with her head barely hanging above the floor. This is a really creative, ingenious way to scare people that I've never seen done before, but I can't help but think it's a little dangerous too. I mean, if she steps on her hair while walking like this, her neck could snap all the way back. Maybe I'm just exaggerating, but I think I see it almost happen multiple times as she races down the aisle, which adds a whole new level of fear to the overall situation. This place just might be haunted by something nefarious. Published by Humble Pet Supply in October of 2018, the store's security camera footage reveals a series of creepy incidents that cannot be explained. The first involves a package falling off a shelf on its own. The shop attendant continues to shelve items and then heads over to put the package back. A moment later, after she walks away, the package falls from the shelf again. This time, it also moves across the floor a bit on its own. Another clip shows a cat named Diego pacing the shop. An incongruent shadow cat appears in the light from the doorway. There don't appear to be any other cats in the store but the real and the shadow one. In a third clip, another package falls from its place and moves strangely across the floor. It drifts slowly until it catches Diego, the cat's attention. As the cat approaches it tentatively, the package moves, causing Diego to jump. The cat paws it for a second before he decides he wants nothing to do with this. The package continues across the floor on its own. Is this perhaps the shadow cat playing around with the real one? Seems pretty catty to me. 
J Game has been having problems with a stalker lately who has been coming around his home dressed like a clown. He is pretty sure it is just some local high school students who watch his channel, but lately they've been growing bolder and now something new has pushed him to his absolute breaking point. I'm scared to be in my own house like that. That's a f***ing problem. This is Max. This is one day, he returns home only to find a creepy letter inside of a tattered envelope with red stains all over. The outside says, we followed you home, and the inside says that they are going to come for him at 2 o'clock. Instead of calling the police, Jay Game decides to handle this problem himself. He keeps his camera rolling and waits at home all day for them to come over. Hours later, two loud bangs from outside send a jolt of adrenaline coursing through him. Instead of rushing out the door, he sneaks upstairs to get a better look at his adversary. He sees someone dressed like a clown with a scary mask and bright orange hair. The person doesn't look very large, maybe about the size of a high schooler, but it's the menacing posture combined with the baseball bat that keeps J-Game away. He waits a long time before going outside, where he finds the gate has been left wide open. It seems like they are gone for the time being, but who knows when they will be back again. Next time you're in India, cruising in the UP, you might want to avoid driving in the rain. This couple was nearly consumed by an unseen pit or manhole. Thankfully, bypassers came to their aid. After the couple was pulled to safety, I'm sure there wasn't much that could be done to save the scooter. The husband was a cop and both did not walk away from the incident unscathed. I think this serves as an example to exercise extreme caution when driving through any body of water. A YouTuber named The Bearded Biologist created a wildlife channel to help people become more appreciative of nature and not be frightened. Let's see how he himself keeps from getting scared when having an encounter that would frighten 99% of most people, no matter how brave they think they are. Barely visible to the untrained eye and easily mistaken as a piece of driftwood is something that would have people screaming and freaking out, but not him. The biologist spots it and wisely turns the other way at six seconds. The curious snake makes no similar efforts to avoid him. The biologist seems to keep it distanced and distracted by his paddle, but it's not over yet. The fearless snake follows him for another 10 seconds and then lets him go. I, like you, most likely thought this was definitely a chase, but he says this was not a chase so much as curiosity on the snake's behalf. What he means by this is that it could be much faster and easily catch up to him if it wanted to. He's just being politely escorted out of its territory, which is a characteristic of the cottonmouth snake, aka the water moccasin. Some people say this is a harmless water snake, but he says it's not and I can back him up on that one. Not that he needs my help because he already has two degrees in this field. This write-up from the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department says water moccasins are the only snakes that float with their head above the water. They are also venomous and are responsible for 7% of all snake bites in Texas every year. So even though I applaud the bearded biologist and applaud him for trying to make me less afraid of nature, I ended up doing research because of him and freaking myself out twice as bad. Knowing that this venomous snake is showing him mercy to me is just another way of saying he's at the mercy of a big snake. Sometimes the more you know, the more terrifying things get. These campers aren't going to get any more sleep tonight. Posted to TikTok by Eagle Trindade. One camper opens their tent flap to reveal four enormous crocodiles waiting just outside their door. And that's not even the scariest part. 
At least a dozen pairs of eyes are gleaming in the darkness. The man closes the tent flap as if that weak nylon and polyester is going to save him from this army of chompers. While some in the comments are saying this is more terrifying than a horror movie, others are just wondering how these guys made it out of their tent. Are these crocodiles just trying to get warm? Or are they out for a midnight snack? The Sonora Inn was built in 1896 and is infamously haunted by many a spirit. Thomas writes that he worked night shift there in 2018. As he was setting up for breakfast at 5 a.m., this is what was captured on security camera. Watch the bowl he places on the counter in the top right corner. Let's see it again. Do you believe in this dining room poltergeist? I feel it might be a case of the wet surface of the bowl acting as a lubricant. After all, he did say it was a bowl of ice, but that's just my theory. What do you think? A YouTuber named Benny Loco is on a desert urban exploration in a bunch of abandoned houses that are empty, or so she thinks. <sighs> She steps inside and looks to the right, no one, but standing on an opposite side of the room, under some drapes is a silhouette that she thinks is some kind of animal figure because of these supposed ears. The boudoir. With the bunny in the window. <laughs> Creepy bunny. But all I see is a hooded figure staring at her through a thin piece of fabric. This is one of the only times I've seen somebody laugh off a ghost sighting and not check to see what it was. All of the windows are blocked, so I guess she could be looking at a piece of cardboard or something. But since something just moved in that room and then disappeared, I have to go with paranormal activity on this one. A YouTuber called Wet Tent catches a poltergeist in action in his home. As evidenced by this slamming door, he shows that there is nobody on the other side and then waits for it to happen again. It's creepy until you see his window is open, so it could be a breeze. And here at 13 seconds, you can see a tag on his covers move in the wind. I just wanted to show this video because I think that it could help explain other videos with slamming doors. Still, I would not totally discount this video. Wet Tent should make a new one with the window closed and see if it still happens. This scary Reddit video was posted by a user named Naval Court who says he caught a spirit giving his friend's child a hard time while it's trying to rest. First, the child stands up as if he sees somebody enter, or maybe he's even called over. He slowly looks up at something much taller than him, and as soon as he lays his eyes upon it, he falls with force. He sits off and shakes it off, and then something flies by overhead. He even looks over his shoulder and sees it. Some people think the kid is just acting silly, as children tend to do, and maybe even shaking his head to try and stay awake. But I agree with Naval Court that this is weird and could be a ghost like he thought. Published by El Paso Yeah, what did this garage's security camera capture in the cover of darkness? This mysterious figure breezes past, but from what I can make out, the stiff way it moves does not look human. Let's take a closer look. Its form too appears inhuman. Even considering the low quality of the camera, this doesn't look like any type of kid or animal I've ever seen. I'm fairly certain it's extraterrestrial. Do you have any theories? 
This ghost wants to be a cameraman. YouTube team Dorset Ghost Mysteries captured this paranormal activity while on an overnight ghost hunt. Thank you. Thank you for those words. Have you got any more words to tell us? What All the right. heck happened there, Glenn? Glenn? Yeah. What could possibly be messing with their camera like this? Are we seeing the haunted castle live up to its reputation? I think that's the case, but there's no way to be 100% sure without more evidence. But I do know one thing. What they've captured already is terrifyingly creepy. James Neese is a YouTuber who has been uploading for over three years now. Sometime in those three years, a 30-year-old man named Michael Lee becomes absolutely obsessed and begins soliciting him across a variety of social media platforms. The messages soon grow dark and talk about taking James from his home. He even sent messages to his mother saying, I'm going to take your son and other more creepy statements. Perhaps his most worrisome confession is when he admits that he has taken a nine-hour drive to their house more than one time. One day, James' parents see a man hanging around their house and call the police. He runs away, but the police set up a quick investigation. Investigators use James' phone to message Michael and convince him to come back to the house. When he comes back, he is taken into custody on the spot. Michael Lieb is eventually sentenced to probation with no time behind bars. Let me know if you think this is a fair and just verdict or not. This is it, the scariest forest to explore in terms of ghost hunting. The location of this scary forest is far more well known than its actual name. That's because you have to go to the Romanian countryside of Transylvania to get here, the same place where the legend of Dracula began. Okay, so this place is called the Hoya Bachu Forest, and there's a good reason why not too many outsiders know about it. Locals believe that even mentioning its name is enough to curse you with a lifetime of misfortune, which is making me wish someone else narrated this video. Ask around for long enough and you might find somebody willing to tell you about a shepherd who, hundreds of years ago, went into this forest with 200 sheep to let them eat grass and never returned. Peasant villagers soon lost their lives to his vengeful spirit spirit, and the area's haunted reputation quickly spread. As more lives were lost, the number of ghost sightings continued to grow. I'm not going to get into all of the individual haunted forest stories because there are simply too many to recall, but here are three scary videos taken in the woods that are worth mentioning because they help back them up. The first video was taken by a YouTuber named Breegis on July of 2014, and it shows in the center of the woods a circular clearing where absolutely no trees will grow. In fact, trees have not grown here for hundreds of years in a perfectly symmetrical circle and nobody knows why. Maybe this is where the shepherd and his flock all perished. Whatever happened here, there's something unholy about this area that always makes visitors nervous. And to further prove my point, in the center of the circle, circle are two evenly spaced patches of dug up earth that look like they could be unmarked graves. What do you think is buried here? Videos of these woods are scary enough during the day, but exploring the cursed woods at night is even scarier. On July 29th, 2017, a YouTuber named Tanner Roth thinks he's brave enough to withstand a 3am haunted forest challenge in Transylvania. The trees start to look twisted and creepy so they know they are close to the forest's haunted heart. See, it's how, how, how knotted it is. These knots don't happen anywhere else outside this forest. I guess it's another way that they were saying the, the, the forest is... is... Dude, it just got super cold over here. The camera goes out of focus as if a spirit is face to face with Tanner, and a passing chill makes his nose run. In his words, It, it, it kind of feels like we shouldn't be here. I couldn't have said it better myself, especially based on what he sees shortly thereafter. Tanner Roth senses something near and so he calls out for Anthony, his camping buddy. He feels especially watched here, and look at what happens at 4 minutes and 28 seconds. 
No sooner does he say somebody is messing with me when an odd red light shows up. Tanner finds Anthony passed out at the campsite, cozy as can be. Anthony didn't pass the 3 a.m. haunted forest challenge, so it wasn't him. Strange glowing lights are said to be a common occurrence in this forest, and one of the reasons why locals don't dare to go near. On April 14, 2018, a paranormal investigation team from Italy called Aspit journeys to the center of the forest in search of a scare. This is what they find close to the haunted circle. It kind of sounds like a frog to me, but maybe not based on what happens next. K2! K2! As they strain their ears, they hear it again right as the K2 meter goes off, which makes it paranormal in my opinion. Sheep can make really shrill noises, so maybe it's the shepherd's wicked spirit. The pit crew runs some more experiments, such as asking the spirit to make their flashlight blink, which it does easily, and we no longer hear any animal noises at all during this time. The forest is eerily quiet. Five minutes later, it decides to skip all of their testing and directly reveal itself. <laughs> Much to their horror and to my fascination, the light they see is remarkably similar to the light that Tanner Roth saw a year prior. Except for a noticeable difference in color, they both saw a sphere of light roughly the same size in the same area, and probably therefore the same entity. The fact that two different teams from two different countries nonetheless would record the same thing is all the proof that I need to conclude that this forest is probably beyond haunted. Since the legends are apparently true, I can only imagine what the repercussions are on them for witnessing it in person, not to mention what will happen to us for seeing it on video. If this video doesn't get your heart racing, it certainly did for this guy. His name is Daniel Stanley and he gets so pumped up that he can make his heart do this. Watch this and tell me if you know what medical condition this is called. I couldn't find much information on this person, aside from the name and his reputation for being able to make his heart race so hard, it nearly pops out of his chest. So please fill me in about his life if you happen to know more. This video of the Ishima Hoyashi Bridge in Japan looks like one of the scariest places in the world to drive over and has the internet freaking out. It resembles a terrifying roller coaster more than a bridge, but I found a video of someone going over it, and while the ride is creepy, it's probably not as bad as you thought. I just wanted to show what going over this bridge is really like. Since the video went viral not too long ago, the reason why the bridge is built like this is to give extra room for boats to go under. It makes sense, but doesn't really make it any less scary, especially if you already have a fear of bridges to begin with. A YouTuber named Daniel finds a graveyard that is different than most others. It is in a bad state of disrepair, but beyond that, some of the graves are just plain missing. It doesn't look like it's six feet deep either. The graves could have simply been relocated, but if that were the case, then I think that the grave sites would have been filled back in. For some reason though, this graveyard has perfectly dug up graves with absolutely no evidence of a burial. There's no casket and no headstone. It's not like these plots were recently dug for a future burial either. Vegetation is slowly creeping back over them, and they are covered with a light bed of dry leaves. Whatever the explanation for the absence of these graves, one thing is for sure, clearly a lot of time has passed since they've been uncovered. A YouTuber named Tret uploaded the scary moment in Russia that has people wondering what it could possibly be. He looks down a boarded up well in the middle of the forest and sees a scary face in the dark. This could be a weird creature sighting or a ghost sighting depending on how you look at it. To be more realistic though, I see the head of a turtle. The blue eyes are weird though, so maybe that's not it at all. A YouTuber named the Ghost Metalhead 666 is filming an empty room in the castle. 
of King Henry VIII when suddenly a visitor materializes before his very eyes. Look in the bottom left corner to see it. The YouTuber captures the translucent outline of a small child. You can see how the toddler starts out on the floor and unsteadily climbs to its feet. The head, arms, and legs are unmistakably human-like. If someone is any good with video editing, then let me know if this is fake or the real thing. Otherwise, as more than one person pointed out in the comments section, Henry VIII did have many stillborns during his reign as king, and this perhaps could be one of them. Have you ever played peekaboo with a paranormal? Redditor Paranormal Purgatory has posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit. He writes, An apparition was caught peeking around the door at a 150-year-old farmhouse mansion with tons of EVPs and footsteps and a child asking for help and wanting us to play. At the moment in question, the Redditor is walking down a hallway when his battery starts running out. As he approaches a room, something is clearly peering around the corner at him. It moves quickly out of sight once it notices that it's been seen. The Redditor shouts hey at it. The thing is definitely a figure, not a lens flare, and can't be explained away as some technical glitch. Moreover, the Redditor clearly saw it in reality. The team thinks they, without a doubt, caught something paranormal on camera. Do you? I sure do. What is this mysterious object in the sky? YouTuber Tiffany Campbell shares this footage of an object she says was falling to Earth. Is that a plane going down? I don't think it's a plane. That's cool. I wish what I is that, I'm James? So blind. I, I can't even tell you, but I don't hey, Mom, know. Can Joey see you? Joey, look through my phone. It's hard to tell what this object is. It doesn't appear to be falling very quickly, but that may just be an optical illusion. The streak trailing behind it suggests it's traveling at significant speed, but this could be a contrail from a plane. I think is that a plane going down? I don't think it's a plane. That's cool. What is that, James? So I, I can't even tell you, but I don't hey, Mom, know. Can see is this object even falling at all? It could just appear that way due to the perspective at which it was captured. I think it could just be a plane with a contrail, but it could also be a meteorite or some other unidentified flying object falling from the sky. What do you think? This video was taken in a public housing development on Jurong Road in Singapore. Audrey Antony claims he's been experiencing strange supernatural occurrences on his property and decides to set up a CCTV system. He's both amazed and terrified when one of his cameras actually verifies his story. A small white object darts down the hall with enough force to wrestle some clothing. A slowed down version of the video reveals a vaguely childlike figure about the size of a toddler. It could just be video editing, but let me know if you see it and what you think it is. Filmed near Shady Lake at Arkansas's Washita National Forest, this family was camping in a secluded campground when they encountered a creature that some think is a myth. Published by Jim Harrison in September of 2012, the camera is panning across the darkness when a large hairy figure moves into view not far off. Needless to say, the cameraman turns tail to flee, and I'm guessing he made it out alive with this wicked footage to show for it. While you may not be a believer, many in the comments of this video are. A number of them even share their own encounters with Sasquatch. Tim, John, and Ben are going to explore a house in the back of the woods that is rumored to be where a clan of worshippers do all kinds of rituals. They wander around in the woods for a while until a rickety white house rises from the darkness. Inside, warnings are spray painted all across the walls in big dark letters but they do not heed them and press on. Tim, John, and Ben take turns breaking stuff and jumping out at each other, but suddenly the three become very serious and quiet when they find a dungeon-like basement that leads straight down. 
The dark area smells extremely foul, and they cover their nose and mouth with their shirts to lessen the stench. The only thing down there besides them are two dolls hanging by their necks, or at least that's what they think. Suddenly, all three of them are running from what sounds like a creature with a low, throaty growl. <laughs> Please, Robert. Okay, you gotta go. If this noise is real, then it almost has to be the end result of a terrible ritual that none of us are brave enough to see. Michael Luongo catches a shapeless form floating around his basement that he can't explain. You can see it best during the first five seconds of the video when one half stands out against the stabs. It's also barely visible in the reflection of the television here at 10 seconds. And when Michael turns back at the stairs, it's already gone. I'm thinking that there might be something wrong with the camera to make this blurry object appear. But then again, it does happen to be floating right above this access panel behind the sofa. So maybe Michael should open it up and see if anything is waiting for him in the wall. This old dormitory has a story to tell. According to the channel 01 Supernatural Studio, who published this video in February of 2022, this dormitory was left behind by a foreign company. After an incident happened in this place, what type of incident though? Well, he doesn't go into detail, but considering the company left this place abandoned, it must not be a good one. Using thermo technology along with an EMF meter, the ghost hunter quickly detects some energy here. As he's exploring the place, he's ascending the stairs when his EMF meter again detects an energy field. His thermo technology spies what looks like a figure in the corner. Later, while he's standing still, he hears a faint noise coming from somewhere within the house. Who is there with him? Maybe this dorm hasn't been abandoned after all. reality show that can take a dark turn, Whale Wars follows the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society as they confront whaling fleets over environmental issues. The society is often faced off with a Japanese whaling fleet, year in and year out. By season 3, in the episode titled Sliced in Two, the two parties decide enough is enough, it's time to have it out. Up until this point, the battle has been confrontational, but not terrifying. The Sea Shepherd's arms of choice, paint, spud shooters, and noise disruptors. The Whalers, strong and effective water cannons. This time, however, the Whalers go all in, heading straight into the Shepherd's small ship. The Addy Gill is then, as the episode is so aptly titled, sliced in two. The ship lies in shatters on the open sea. The crew can't contact anyone via radio. It's one of the scariest moments in reality TV history. Even worse, the whalers start to lower an inflatable boat into the sea, likely to capture the crew and take them on board. The open sea is scary enough. Imagine being surrounded out there on the waters by your worst enemy. Luckily, the Shepherds are able to save their crew in time. Everyone survives, and no one is captured. A happy ending to another scary event caught live. Who Floats There? Published in March of 2009, this scary video is, as Tracy writes, absolutely petrifying. The group is filming up the stairs as they think someone's there. It's completely dark at first, but then someone turns on a flashlight. They capture what they think is two figures standing at the top landing. After a moment, a quick figure that's just a white light runs across the landing. The light's only just gone across the top of the landing, and that's moving. It looks like Tracy thinks it looks like a little baby. While our eyes can play tricks on us, are all our eyes playing the same trick? In the Dominican Republic in April 2013, uploader DR Local encountered a mysterious sea creature. During a scooter-powered night scuba dive, the time was 9.15 p.m., while the depth was 20 meters. The creature was reportedly bony, three quarters of a foot long, with a small head and sharp teeth. It also had translucent fins and a purple and steel sheen-colored body. 
The mysterious creature swam both backwards and forwards. The dorsal fin helped it maneuver both directions and propelled it at higher speeds moving forwards, which made it appear more eel-like rather than blade-shaped. According to the uploader, what could this eel-like creature be? YouTube commenters, of course, are full of suggestions. Doom Octopus said it looked like a young ore fish, while Zane Reavers said it was a cutlass fish. Both of these seem plausible, but Sampal's suggestion seems to be on the nose. It's a hair tail, very common around Sydney, Australia, usually fished at night by a very dedicated fisherman, very sharp teeth, and not too bad to eat. Whatever the thing is, I wouldn't want to run into it in the depths of the sea at night. YouTube Team Extinct File explores an abandoned mansion where they're tormented by ghost children. Inside the dark and dreary place, they find this unsettling picnic. They turn toward another room and a moment later see this. Ay, Dios. No mames. After a while, they hear some barking in the distance and then something much closer. Todo esto es de mármol, güey. As they head upstairs to investigate, this happens. Ay, Dios. No te pases de lanza. Que no mames. No mames. Later, they tried to communicate with the ghost children. Que se quiera comunicar con nosotros. This is what they saw. Hijo de la... Did you see it too? I'm pretty certain that was a ghost child, and if it was, the crew had better watch their backs. The world is filled with lost radio signals from long ago. One of these many mystery stations was this broadcast from East Germany that started in the 1970s. We still don't know what it was, only that it sounded like it could drive a person to madness if they listened for long enough. Every so often, the overwhelming wall of noise would give way to a group of men singing in twisted voices. Maybe it's just me, but this almost sounds like some kind of ancient ritual or chant. The broadcast abruptly stopped in 1990 after about 20 years. Give me your best guess as to what this broadcast was used for, because I haven't the slightest clue. I'm going to take you to one of the most haunted places in the world. Some people call it the Arnold Estate, but you probably know it as the Conjuring House. Yeah, that one. This 1700s farmhouse in Harrisville, Rhode Island is where the ill-fated Perron family lasted from January of 1971 until June of 1980. During this time, items would go missing and small piles of dirt would show up whenever they cleaned the kitchen floor. Soon they were visited by spirits who smelled of rotting and could possess them at will. That's because it was less of a farmhouse and more of a portal to the underworld. A sorceress named Bathsheba Sherman is said to have practiced arcane magic here, possibly even sacrificing her own kin to better forge a connection with the underworld. People have lost their lives all over the property. Kids floating in a creek and swinging in the attic, too. Now it's a place for only the bravest of ghost hunters to go. Jennifer and Marcel of J&M Explorations want to put their skills and equipment to the test. On March 18th of 2020, they team up with some friends for safety in numbers and prepare to explore it, the real conjuring house. 
They want to see something crazy, so they waste little time heading straight into the basement, the same place where father and husband Roger Perron used to feel a sinking presence behind him whenever he had to come down here to fix the heating equipment, which mysteriously filled many times. The deeper they go, the more they are filled with dread. I don't think it's just them down here, and this is why. Oh my god, it's just the creepiest. Something guides them to a piece of old wooden furniture in the far corner that just so happens to have a kid's drawing on it. Andrea thinks this could be a person with a crooked neck in her words, and I see what she means. If it's not that, then maybe it's someone floating in the creek. As she's exploring what it could be, a small face with large black eyes looks at her from behind. At least that's what some people claim to see. Roger always thought he felt something behind him. The old barn is next. This part is of particular interest. Yeah. This is neat, that old soda. Hmm. I'm pretty sure Marcel is right by her, so it's not him. And here's another voice they catch in the bedroom. This one's not in the mood to sing. Make a noise, but you gotta make it close. Make it, make the noise in here with us. Can you knock on the wall? Its voice drips with hatred, and soon thereafter a foul smell washes over Jennifer, the same one who moments earlier was asking for a sign. Well, I think she's got one and don't think she's faking. That smell's coming back, and I can taste it. I don't, I don't like that at all. I don't like that Go ahead. All right. I'm I'll gonna... stay up here. Yep. She smells the rotting, in my opinion. A stench coming from the door. Watch her reaction when she tries to leave. Oh my god. Just then, their friends enter to talk about their experience while using a Ouija board downstairs. They spelt out a demonic name, and just the mention of it registers on their equipment. The smell is when something evil, demonic, is around you. When we were downstairs playing the, the Ouija board with the yells above, and then they started smelling the smell up here. You see what I'm saying? The meter's going off. And while paranormal equipment is designed to withstand electromagnetic interference, normal cameras are not. Wait a minute, were those the ones that were on that table right over here? The screen turned off without him anywhere near it. A final truly bizarre moment happens when they head down to the dining room and see this hanging decoration is spinning. Soon another one is moving, this time side to side instead of in circles. Here's the same room taken towards the beginning of the video. The camera is not steady, but it's steady enough to tell that these objects are not spinning. It could be far from a vent or a draft, but I don't think so. These dried flowers are meant specifically to keep spirits away. Moving the flowers could be a message from the spirits that this isn't enough to stop them, as one of the ghost hunters points out. So you can say what you want about the movies, but the location it's based on is definitely not some place you'd want to spend the night at. J&M Explorations experience the same type of early situations that the Perrons had happened to them during their first few years of living here. Before things started ramping up, I guess the house likes to take its time. Oh, and then there's this doll who goes from waving hello at 13 minutes and 47 seconds to asking for a hug at 34 minutes and 39 seconds. So I guess Annabelle isn't the only one with possession problems. This graveyard in Michigan defies the laws of gravity and replaces them with the laws of the paranormal. There is a specific tree at the bottom of a hill that many locals believe is haunted. You can put your car into neutral at the top of the hill and the car will roll down as normal. Here's a quick demonstration. And now as you can see, with my foot off the pedal and the car in neutral, we're rolling downhill. That is what you would expect. But when you pull up to the cursed tree, 
and put your car in neutral. This is what will happen each and every time. We're rolling backwards up the hill. My, my feet, yes, my feet are off the pedal. Car is still in neutral. A strange force appears to be causing this man's car to roll backwards and climb a semi-steep inclination. Not only that, but I think I hear a strange voice in the video too. Listen to this and tell me if you hear someone say something that sounds like the name Sarah. Imagine being the spirit of a child, still stuck in the world. Why are you there? What do you do in the interim? Clearly, the answer is to play around with the living. Originally posted to TikTok by Dries Perry, a Redditor wonders what Reddit thinks of these TikToks. Let's take a look. In the first clip, Perry says he's convinced that this room in his home is haunted. After shutting the door so it doesn't scare his daughter, he speaks directly to the ghost, inviting him to reveal his presence in some way. At first, the ghost is hesitant, but soon after, a can on the table flips over onto its side. After returning to the room, he asks the spirit to move something else. A toy car begins to slowly roll across the same tabletop. Seems like someone is ready to play. Redditor Hollow Planet writes, This is exactly what the poltergeist I had was like. During round two of attempting to communicate with the spirit in the toy room, Perry decides to try and play too. Since many of his commenters on TikTok were theorizing that it was a child ghost, after asking the child ghost to play, a ball is tossed his way from a nearby shelf. He shows the camera up close that there are no strings attached to the wiffle ball that rolls to stop at his feet. He asks the child ghost to knock three times if he's nice. After you hear three clear knocks, Perry says he's done. Could you knock three times if you're a nice ghost? I don't know. Okay, guys. Yep, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Already? The kid just wants to toss a ball. Redditor ZRyan3564 writes that he's jealous the ghost is so vocal. It seems he or she wants you to accept it, so it's doing everything you ask, Ryan says. Would you accept this playful ghost, or would you lock up this room and throw away the key? This oddly colored sea creature in Pfeiffer Beach, California looks like a rock until you flip it over to reveal a soft underbelly. According to the uploader, this creature started to change shape to better fit into their hand. My best guess is some type of sea sponge, but I really don't think that's it. And a park ranger didn't know what it was either, but maybe you will. What is this thing drifting in the sky over Poland? This mysterious video was posted in a private Polish Facebook group and shared to the UFO subreddit by Redditor Revolutionary Kill 46. Let's watch. It floats undisturbed over the field, even peaceful in its descent. Unfortunately, the clip ends there, and we don't see if or where it lands. Some Redditors think it's a Mondo Shawin ship looking after the elements. That actually looks pretty spot on to me. It's got my vote. Going to medical school presents many challenges, high tuition, debt, and the occasional wild animal encounter. If you were coming up the steps and saw a Black Panther animal barreling at you, you would almost certainly run. Big mistake. It's already in motion and your panic would trigger its instincts. You're not getting far. The panther starts to go into someone's room, but something makes it think twice about going in. It probably doesn't like being cornered with one exit and chooses not to go further inside. The college in Karnataka, India went into lockdown as a result of this scary CCTV video. Yeah, I guess that would do it. I should point out that this isn't all that uncommon in schools. 
across India and I found some other creepy videos too. Here's a leopard at a college in Nainital. Thankfully, the only prey he finds is a car passing by. But imagine a college student looking at their feet walking along this fence. They'd never see it coming. I just hope everybody's alright. A YouTuber named Sturin's Wild World is grabbing some firewood from a pile when she notices something small and dangerous moving from within. You probably don't see anything and neither did I at first. Without some hesitation, she carefully uses a grabbing stick to extract the beast from its hiding spot. It's not just any cobra, it's a cobra that actually spits venom. The sight fills her with fear and fascination. Watch as she keeps its mouth pointed away from her as she examines its body. She is giving some basic information about the species when it somehow slips past her guard. It doesn't look like she loosens her grip at all, but rather the snake flattens its jaws and slides through. Okay, the reason why I'm in love. Whoa! She manages to snag it by the tail again and moves backwards as the snake comes at her, spitting venom all the while. The video ends before she gets a chance to release it, but based on how it's aggressively moving towards her, I have no idea how she plans to get away. A bizarre, unknown creature sighting needs more attention because it's beyond creepy. Melly Cecu is watching the sun come up over a riverbank in Ormond Beach, Florida. Her moment of tranquility is replaced with fear when this comes floating her way. I don't know what this is. That is a body or something. I don't know what that is. She follows it along the riverbank for as long as possible before the current grows strong and takes the odd object. Melly describes it as having scales more like a snake than a fish and also says she legitimately thought it was something from another planet when she first caught the creature on camera because of the huge size and weird shape. I don't know what that is. It looks like an alien. Look at that. Camera won't focus. Oh my. To her, this looks like the snout of a humanoid creature with rows of sharp teeth. I tried to find a picture of a similar fish in the area, but admittedly was unable to. And maybe it's just the reflection, but it looks like it could be much larger underwater. She says if this was a fish, then nobody has been able to show her a picture of what it is. Let's help her solve this mysterious unexplained video, because to be honest, I'm not sure what this mysterious figure is either. If none of us can figure out a better answer, then maybe we have to continue see that a strange creature is in fact lurking around this region of Florida. This door manages to stay open for five full seconds before slowly swinging shut for some reason, and I want to know why. It's a lightweight door so maybe his house isn't level and that's why his door is shutting like that. Or maybe I just don't want to believe that his house is haunted after all. So is this an unlevel house or something paranormal? Cindy McDonald is a paranormal communicator who has been into ghost hunting for many years. She has a YouTube channel called Soul Guidance that's full of bizarre explorations in various haunted places. But to be honest, the best paranormal evidence I've seen in a long time are from these videos taken in her very own home. After years of paranormal expeditions, I guess it was only a matter of time before something came back to haunt them. The creepiness begins on November 17th of 2017. That's when her beagle, Mozzie, begins acting strange. Every little sound bothers her and puts her on high alert. She seems especially wary of the brown chair, or rather the backpack that's on it, which they take with them on every investigation and may have a paranormal entity attached. They tell any spirits haunting this house to leave and eventually the dog calms down. Nine days later, they run a paranormal experiment on their house to see if they can capture any ghost sightings on camera. 
Their ghost hunting equipment soon tracks a ghost standing on their coffee table, who slowly but surely make its way to the couch. I just want to add that I don't see how their software could be mistaking a bare white wall for anything remotely human. Also, based on the timing of this next clip, I think this creepy moment is both real and paranormal. Can you say hello? Oh, there's two. Another wireframe figure appears in the doorway when she tells it to say hello. Now, just to show, don't you move. This is what we're filming, this area right here, so there's nothing it can map in. It's just mapping in two figures. They continue to see the same ghost well into the next year, and as the months go by, it becomes more friendly and comfortable around them. Here it is lying on the same couch as before. Can you wave? Can you stick out one arm? Oh, I think I see you waving that hand. Wave one more time so we know it's you, please. Thank you. Good job. They seem to have achieved some kind of rare bond between our world and theirs that I've never seen before. Also attached to their family is a little ghost child who is slowly remembering what it was like to be alive. Would you like to hold my hand? Can you reach over and touch my hand, please? Thank you. Even when it leaves, there's still a small black impression of paranormal energy left in its wake. It makes sense that the ghost of a child would attach themselves to a backpack, since that's an item they would be familiar with. And not too long ago, they visited a boys' detention center that was quite haunted. So maybe that's where the ghost child followed them home from. While they were exploring that haunted building, however, they encountered a much larger shadow figure that gave them a bad feeling. Hopefully this ghost didn't follow them home too. Do you believe in the devil? YouTube team Wokaya Raz High Official claims to have captured the real devil on camera. Apparently, this is it. <laughs> I'm not sure that this is the devil. It looks more like a beached merman to me. I think this crew should try and relocate it to some open water. Then again, that looks like a dangerous mission. What do you think this thing is? Devil or Merman? I think it looks like the Condemned. I found a YouTube channel called Phantasma House Paranormal that I think needs to get more attention because of how creepy their investigations are. Take this cemetery exploration in the UK for example. They wanted to find out if this cemetery is as haunted as people claim. So they set up paranormal tracking equipment and after a while the answer becomes an obvious yes. Their first sighting happened so fast, so watch closely. Can you show me again? At 2 minutes and 4 seconds, it looks like this ghost is sitting on the roof of the church. There's absolutely nothing there that resembles an actual person so I don't think it is a glitch. And when he talks to the ghost, it appears at the door directly under the roof it was just sitting on like it jumped down to greet him. At 2 minutes and 36 seconds, the ghost walks away from the door, and 10 seconds later it's standing behind him. It wiggles around in front of him for a bit, and then sits back down like it was on the roof. When he looks at it from a different angle, it still appears to be sitting on a marker, which is creepy to think about, a ghost sitting on their own grave. Soon spirits gather all around him in objects that don't resemble a person and therefore should not be setting off his equipment, yet they do. At one point, the ghost even walks down the steps. He reaches an overgrown portion of the cemetery in the back that's eerie to explore, even in the middle of the day, and he switches on a ghost listening device. What he hears next leaves him scared. Say something now. I dare you. Disrespectful. 
Okay, so tell me what you make of that. It could be a ghost scolding him, which is terrifying. But I feel like the app could be listening to his mic and will say certain things in response. In other words, I don't know if that was really supernatural or if it was a pre-programmed response to the phrase, I dare you. Here it is again. Say something now. I dare you. Disrespectful. These videos were taken at the annual Global Citizen Music Festival of 2018 in New York City. Everyone is enjoying the late night concert until a crowd of people suddenly start trying to escape and basically cause a stampede. Nobody knows what they are running from, and they won't find out until much later, but everybody is moving fast and afraid for their lives. Their voices are filled with panic and raw fear fuels their every step as they grab their friends and try to get out as fast they can. What the f just happened? I have no idea what's happening. The situation becomes all too real when a head officer of the NYPD comes on stage and makes a brief and serious sounding announcement. Try to move backwards is all the police will say without any further explanation, which sends everyone into even more of an uproar. Those who make it out find the entrance is swarming with emergency vehicles, but still nobody knows why. As it turns out, the source of the commotion was a large steel barricade that fell over and made a loud banging noise. The bang carried throughout the venue and sounded like someone discharging a firearm which caused a panic. I can only imagine how stressful this must have been for everybody, especially when none of them know what is wrong at the time. Fortunately, a strong police presence was able to keep the evacuation orderly and help stop people from trampling over each other. Is one of America's greatest presidents still roaming the earth? YouTuber Soul Searching thinks so. She visited President Lincoln's tomb at the Oak Ridge Cemetery in Springfield, Illinois. The place is said to be haunted. Let's see if it is. Right away, Shannon gets a response to her inquiries. Walk up to me. Ooh, I heard a noise. Was that you, Mr. Lincoln? I heard a noise. When she asks the spirit to knock, Can you knock on this? There we go. It answers a moment later. Unless there's construction going on inside the tomb, I don't know what would explain the knocking in response. My thoughts are that Lincoln's spirit remains here. Uncanny videos without explanations are often creepy in their own right, but this one takes it to a whole new level. Posted to YouTube by Gugun Reaper in October of 2016, the video is titled, What Are You Thinking? Deep Web Video. Soon it will have you asking yourself that very question. The clip shows someone in a black trash bag with a white cloth tied over his head. The thing coughs a few times, looking super sad and terribly creepy. At one point it lifts its hands to its mouth and suddenly its mouth is flooded red. It's unclear what is happening. Is this thing coughing up red liquid? Fernando Costa suggests in the comments. He was starting to hick it all up slowly, then blam. Bile and everything all finally came up. In the end, the thing holds a piece of paper with writing on it. You can see through the paper. And though he's holding it upside down, it reads, What are you thinking after watching this video? All it's doing for me is creeping me out. This slow motion video captures a man peeling around a corner as fast as he can, and soon you see exactly what has him moving so fast. A gigantic cheetah literally bounces off the wall in pursuit. The video ends before we exactly get to see what happens next. Maybe this cheetah really did come in straight from the jungle, or maybe it was kept as a household pet until one day it simply snapped. 
Whatever the case may be, I doubt it ended well for the person running away. Then again, I have no idea why he would just happen to have a camera set up to catch this event perfectly, so maybe it was scripted after all. Let me know what you think is going on here, and also tell me if you have any more background information that can help us put this video in better context. Gary Reed Unfrequented World is the name of a YouTube channel that, at first glance, seems chock full of ordinary outdoor vlogs and entertainment. Gary goes on photography and metal detecting excursions, and generally enjoys hiking his large property in the northern Ontario wilderness, often accompanied by his loving family. But something threatens the tranquility of Gary Reed's Unfrequented World, a screaming cryptid deep in the woods that can twist trees in its powerful grasp, but more on that in a second. First, let me talk about Gary and why his observations matter more than the average YouTuber. Born in the small Ontario town of Redbridge, Gary Reed has been surrounded by woods his whole life. Aside from a lifetime of first-hand experience exploring the local lands, he also has a degree in environmental science and understands his surroundings on an advanced biological level. So when he says there is something out there that he can't explain, it probably means you or I can't either. His first encounter with it was at the age of 18, while staying in a cabin on Rabbit Lake, October 19th, 1994. That's when he heard a scream that sounded like a woman, but not quite. He describes a second scream as a wail, crescendoing into a howl, like nothing he's heard before. It ran through the entire camp, screaming from one side to the other. Then it was gone. On April 30th, 2020, he heard it again. Again. That sucks. You can hear screaming. It sounds almost human, but not quite. Guess this thing is still going on over here. Here it is again with the audio turned up. I know foxes can make some weird noises, but this sounds like a person enraged. Camera in hand, he sneaks quietly towards the direction of the screaming to see what he can find. His trained eye detects a strange break in this tree, along with other trees that have been toppled over, all of them facing the same direction, like someone was running fast through the forest. There's one there. And next to the strange scene is a braided bunch that looks like something strong twisted it into this shape. Let me know if there is any other way for these branches to fuse together if not by sheer force. The deeper he goes, the more it looks like something large has stomped through. Oddest of all are these large tracks left by what he suspects is a cryptid that walks upright. Not mine. It's clear to me that these are not your average boots. Like toe prints in here. You can almost see the toes. At 10 minutes and 25 seconds, he tries to trace an outline of its toes, but I think he's a little off. Here's where they begin in my opinion, much bigger. The next day, he measured the results, and it reminds me of a certain cryptid with particularly big feet. I'm sure you know who I mean. 13 and a quarter inches. I think it's real, but just to throw out a counterpoint, I will say that rain from the day before could have eroded the snow and could have made an otherwise normal footstep seem much larger. Now let's switch over to some trail cams set up by Gary. This evidence, taken exactly a month earlier on March 3rd, is the most compelling of all. On March 7th, four days later, he and his neighbor hear another scream so shrill, it sounds like it belongs to a child. He hurries out the door and finds himself alone and vulnerable in the pitch black night. I gotta turn the dish back on, I can hear whistling. A pair of animal eyes look at him from behind, but I think it might just be the light reflecting off his glasses back into the camera. But I could be wrong, because when they check around the same area the next day, his dog becomes agitated and seems not to want to proceed any further. Something is definitely up ahead. Maybe they are getting close on its trail.
Not that its trail is especially hard to find when it leaves a path of giant bent trees in its wake. Could nature have done this? Probably not. It looks like something huge reached up and pulled it down. That's a pretty big one. And half a minute later, he finds this tree with a branch literally twisted off and set back in place. This doesn't look like a normal break to me because the tree looks rather healthy. Yeah, it's about eight feet and it's got a good twist to it. Here's another perfectly healthy tree with green leaves, this time ripped in half by something strong, or maybe simply struck by lightning. Either way, that doesn't explain what animal is responsible for doing this. Is, you can see the bark and you can actually see lines. Well, those are tooth marks. See all those little lines are tooth marks. I don't know what it is, but I know that anything that shreds trees while screaming is too dangerous for me to be in the same forest as. And that's only what's been going on for the past couple months. There's over a year's worth of cryptid content to uncover, so I encourage you to watch Gary Reed Unfrequented World and see for yourself. In the meantime, leave me your best guess as to what's doing this. Maybe we can crack one of the weirdest modern unsolved mysteries in all of Ontario. It's midnight when this ladder starts walking by itself in an apartment building garage. It looks like it has to be the work of a ghost, but it's actually on a very gradual ramp moving down. This middle section of the ladder, called a spreader, looks like it's too worn out to lock in place anymore, and so the ladder almost tips over and then catches itself, taking another step forward in the process. But still, somebody has to bump the ladder first to get it moving, so if this just spontaneously happened out of nowhere, then that's a cause for concern. While exploring an abandoned paper mill, the crew from YouTube channel Blow 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 6 captured two mysterious events simultaneously, an EVP and an apparition. To me, the apparition is clear as day. You see it emerge from the right to the center of the screen, as if it's drifting down the tunnel. But the EVP is not as clear. It sounds like a bird cawing. That's not the only mysterious thing about this clip. I also noticed a strange flicker in the light at the beginning of the video. Watch the backlight closely. Was that a camera glitch? Or is some entity fiddling with the light switch? I think this phantom is up to something. A scary video from Albany looks like creepy things are about to happen at night, but when Mike Lice takes the camera to the window, you can see a big problem. It's the middle of the day, possibly the last for him and his family as a terrible change looms in the sky. What happens next haunts them forever. At 9.16, a tree almost connects with the side of their house. The only thing that saved them were winds blowing slightly away from their home. When so much scary stuff happens to you at once, there really is only one reaction. I'm sure they were expecting to capture some scary moments on camera, but nothing like this. Almost losing your home, whether you actually did in the end or not, is one of the scariest things imaginable. Discovering a hidden room in your home always begs the question, what was it used for? Posted to TikTok by AbbyMaya14. This TikToker found an entire hidden basement in her storage cupboard. While it's not unusual for a home to have some sort of crawl space beneath it, this one is particularly creepy because it looks lived in. 
After tearing up the floor, the homeowner discovered wooden steps leading down to a full-on basement. Not only can you stand fully upright in this hidden subterranean room, it appears as though someone once called this space home. A poster is plastered to the wall and it looks as though it's been clawed to pieces. There are benches in one corner and what appears to be a hearth. So again, this begs the question, what was this room used for? Some in the comments of the video have speculated that this might be an air raid shelter. Others say perhaps someone was squatting down there. It's probably best to climb up out of there, cover it over with a rug, and throw away the key. Is a magic trick or a paranormal being? Shared by YouTube channel Kisa Weba, this video is currently trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. I was unable to track down the original source. A man is driving down a dark road when suddenly a nightmarish creature stands blocking his path. I'm not sure I would have honked at the hooded figure. I definitely wouldn't have gotten out of the car, but this man does. When he approaches the figure and asks it to move, he attempts to pull off its sheet, but he soon regrets it. How did this robed figure hold its form? Where did it disappear to? If this is any kind of magic, I think it's the dark con- Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.